maybe at the end of each session, I'm just gonna transport us to that map so that we can like just draw whatever. Are we gonna explain it, or is it just like the cave paintings? It's unexplainable, <laughs> just inexplicable, like. No, no, he's gonna introduce it in a session later on. Like this is the Nathan. It's gonna come back. Like, yeah. <laughs> you got, yeah, yeah. You're in. A, you all have finally made it to the bottom layer of the tomb of <laughs> Arcanamus, and upon the wall you see this painting. What could it mean? Hmm. Clearly, an ancient civilization that flourished here on Loki before the Empire. Anyway, you, you actually um, just you just steal Ryan's uh, previous thing where you have to turn the stuff. But they all have just this, those pictures yeah. instead. Like, oh my oh, goodness! Absolutely crazy. Um, awesome. Everybody's here. Is everyone feeling good? How's everyone's week been? Sure, my tummy uh, hurts. I know we were getting some play by play. Your tummy hurts, bro. I feel that. It always hurts. Does it hurt? Ew. Um. Have you tried Tums, yeah. the probiotic? Uh, well, I'm fine until, like, I'm fine, but then the session starts, and for some reason my stomach's like, uh-oh, uh-oh, and then it goes away over time, but, like, each time it's the nerves. starts, I guess. It's the yeah, nerves. I always have tummy butterflies before the session, so. I think mine's the same. I have a little mini freak out every single time. My I especially have today. Yeah. Really? I, bet, I bet Ryan's a little nervous. Why I forgot we about where, where we ended off until this morning. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's all you, buddy. Yeah, got I to explain oh, my whole back. Wait, sorry, is that new sorry. art? Oh, it, it really sucks because this is the first session I've come in with a headache. <laughs> oh, it's the one we're starting off with. Awesome. Also, what's that art there? Oh, it's just upside down. Never mind. Uh, what's Ooh. upside down? Oh, yeah, the art looks different. I also and then... thought it was new until. Yeah, <laughs> I zoomed in. I was like, oh. It's because his world's been flipped, turned upside down. Oh, okay. Man. Tell me yeah. the Fresh Prince. That's deep. Fresh Prince of Loki. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Uh, you've heard of the Frozen Prince in the prophecy, but did you hear that was a part two about the Fresh Prince? <laughs> um, and it's just the theme song, but in fancy speak. Cool. Are we all ready to start? Everyone feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah! Let me queue up our classic. Um, <clears throat> uh, welcome every. Oh, I just realized. Oh my god! So I'm so sorry. I forgot that Groovy doesn't exist anymore. Um. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Well, no music for right now, as I set up another thing. Um. However. Uh, uh, welcome everybody back, um, to the lands and, and seas of Ela. Um, last we left off, we closed the night out at the ballroom. Um, we witnessed a series of, um, awkward kisses, first and second, and some less awkward ones. Um, uh, an engagement proposal was thrown out. Um, a lot of items were, were bought, uh, magical items and spells and whatnot, stocking up. Uh, for the next leg of the adventure ahead of you all, um, you all uh, went to the shield and officially changed your name from the B5 to, and if I am getting this correctly, Asterisk Fate Fighter Z. Or Z, um, or Z, or Z. It is, yeah, depending on where you're from, we're trying to get, uh, the localization is different yeah, uh, in, yeah. in the UK. Um, <laughs> that happened. Um, uh, you guys had done that at the S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, offices, and it was signed, um, with this magical pen, sealing that as your name forever and ever. And we're definitely not regretting that at any point. Um, uh, while there, you guys picked up, um, a quest. You had decided to, uh, had the first step of your journey, um, across Pelea, uh, be porting in, in the town of Tora, or Torra, if, if you will. Uh -huh. Um... Uh, uh, while there, you learned that there was um, an ongoing uh, shield uh, quest request um, uh, bound for there by a, a dwarf named uh, Beta Brass Hand, who uh, uh, paid you up front half of the price and the other half uh, upon safe arrival. And safe is something that he was definitely stressing quite a bit because apparently he is being sought after or perhaps hunted by uh, a group he has referred to only as the Maidens. After that, you all 
returned back to the ship, um, met a strange uh, woman named Olivia, who uh, did not have gold to offer you in exchange for safe travel to Kalea, but did offer you some strange magical fruits, uh, who you decided to trust implicitly, and is now residing abo aboard your ship, uh, sleeping above deck, uh, which was her preference that she established. And um, in the course of that, we witnessed a, a truly very interesting emotional conversation uh, in which Suma was giving very sage advice uh, uh, to the much younger Gallant. And following that, we saw a strange occurrence as Alok seemed to be interrogated or perhaps tested or challenged by the specter of one Maria No River the previous owner of the amulet which hangs around his neck to this day. After the conclusion of that kind of encounter, uh, Alok decided to bring everybody in to the war room to do a bit of talking. Uh, we're going to cut right back to that moment. You guys can file in. The war room has been uh, less utilized as of late. Um, however, you guys can file in. There is a, a nice long table in the back. Um, with a small, like, kind of, that's where you guys keep, like, the maps that you have acquired of, like, different places for, uh, to dock, and, like, you know, little charts of, like, sea currents and, and whatnot, and that's all kind of laid out on the table, and you guys can shuffle in, take your seats. Um, by any chance, are you inviting Del and Miela in? Because otherwise, they have expressed the intent to just go back to the rooms and just kind of decompress after what seems to be a very tense situation. I don't think, like, directly, but when we were all in the hallway, it was kind of implied that everyone was invited so it's up to them um i think dal just goes what just happened it seemed like you all were uh, panicking uh, I, I didn't really get a lot of context to what was going on no, we, you know as much as we know so okay am i am i not alone here because it felt like i was alone for like a little bit you all had weapons out are we being attacked or something? Is the danger past? Well, uh, not necessarily attacked, I don't think, but it's hard to tell. It's kind of weird. A lot of weird stuff going on right now. It was Alok's former lover. That's what, okay. that's what we're thinking now. That's not... That is, who's former thinking that? <laughs> I was <laughs> saying everyone's thinking that. We, no one's discussed is, anything. Is that so? Now you see Dell is taking kind of like a protective stance almost. Like, uh, is that true? <laughs> no, I've never had a former lover. Alok? Okay. I, I have no idea where it was getting that from. Alok, if, if they don't know what you have to say, will they be in more or less trouble? Oh. I don't know. I'm I'm new to this as well. I, I imagine more, maybe. Alright, then, uh, Del, you can go back to bed. If it's anything that's pressing, you'll be, let, we'll let you know. Wait, no, I thought it was, they'd be in more trouble not knowing. I'm oh, okay. Well, then, Del, by... the Del, wake up. Well, we're all gonna listen in on this. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I was confused, I guess. Yeah, yeah, no. It, says... When you say yes or no, like, yeah, that's that can always be. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. Uh, she nods and she says, Okay. Um, uh, she, you see, she says, she looks over to Miela and they sign the two. And she says, um, For the rest of you who don't, you know, who can't comprehend uh, sign language currently, if you don't have to spell up or, you know, people just aren't able to do that, she says, um, I think Miela's going to turn in for a bit unless you think it's really important for her to be here. No, not like really important. I think I, I don't know yet. I don't. So just Dell is gonna stay. Uh, yeah. Um, you look over. Uh, make an insight check on on Miela and how she's staying, if you like to. Good. Uh, on my head. It doesn't matter. Uh, on a four, really hard to tell. Um, you can't really read her. I feel like maybe your mind is running a little bit too fast to kind of be like kind of picking up on what other people are feeling right now because something very strange uh, and extremely relevant to you has just occurred and it's kind of hard to like 
uh, focus on anything else other than that. Um, but you see Mela kind of has her head and kind of nods out, um, and like sheepishly, like kind of walks back to her room. Um, Del joins you all um, in the war room. I uh, since I did technically summon like a, I think three extra familiars. I'll send mm-hmm. the dog that I made just to watch over Miela while she sleeps for an hour. Yeah. Um, you send the dog. The dog um, kind of curls up uh, kind of next to her foot of her bed, um, very alert, just kind of wagging its um, little tail for a little bit. Um, cool. And sit down. So, what is this about, Elon? Aelok's just thinking right now while sitting down. Okay. Hmm. I don't know where to begin, because there's a few steps to get to where we are now. Um, man, I don't know. Where do you guys want to start? I don't know where to start. The very beginning. How'd you get the amulet? Okay. Well, that's not the beginning, but that is a step, so I'll we can start there. Well, I don't know. I feel like it easier to explain if I start with there's a lot. Alright, start okay, you've been birthed. Okay, so <laughs> actually that is kinda of where it starts. Oh sick. Yeah. Um okay. Oh boy. And uh he he's like very nervous uh talking about all this and he's like looking at all of you right now. Just taking everything in. Okay. I normally well I've never actually told anyone this and it was mostly because I was told not to by my parents, but I was born a uh, special. I mean, I don't know. So, you know how there's like, like Aramis. You know, he's a tiefling. He's got the uh, the half human or whatever he is, half whatever, half devil kind of thing going on. Okay. Well, I kind of got that too, but like the opposite direction. You're a demon. The, the, that's not the opposite. That'd be like well, kind like, of adjacent well, I, I, to I like. Mean, I mean, devil and demon—they yes, are they're... pretty different. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, they're kind of close. They're just, you know, explain. Uh, angel, yes. Maybe? Like, are we? I—that's one way to put it. I was told not to tell anybody because it. I don't know. My parents were very. Uh, they didn't like that I was like that because it never happened in our family. I, no past generation anyone was born like that, so we don't know why the hell that happened. But uh, some priest at a, the local uh, church somehow knew. He said it was like some vision, but it wasn't he... very clear. Oh, oh, don't I don't want to be rude. Did yeah. he and your mom... No. <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you positive? <laughs> I don't think that would I happen to know me. that your child that's coming is going to be an angel. Crazy! I'm just. Well, you know, actually, I hadn't considered that. Okay. But he's he himself was not like me, so I don't think that's the case. All right, all right. Um, I am gonna pretend that's not the case going forward. We'll just we'll just assume. Okay. Um, so yeah, I kind of grew up in. I grew up in my parents owned a library. My father, uh, his side it has been passed down, and I was expected to. Own or take ownership when uh, I grew up, and at the same time, the church wanted me to become an acolyte and become a uh, very involved member. And I couldn't really. And they, my parents in the church, they fought back and forth over ownership. It was honestly a pain. But uh, yeah, eventually I met Draga Hearth, who's a teacher. You know, you know all that stuff. I've told you. Uh, so eventually I left. Oh, that is intense. Sorry. Oh, music. Uh, eventually I left to be an adventurer, I, you know, fucking a hero or whatever. And, uh... Wait, 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 hold on. But your reasonings to be a hero, what were they? I told you before. Wait, haven't I? It was, uh, because just... I read a lot of fantasy books this about heroes. Oh, okay, okay. No, I told you guys about the books. I'm I told you about the books. Oh, yeah, you did. You, you, did. you said you liked fantasy. I liked I liked uh, the heroes and stuff, and yeah. I wanted to uh, I wanted to do what they did and make the world yeah. a better place and all that Good. crazy jazz. Well, I died very early on in my adventure. Ooh. Yes, that's that's the way. That's what's very weird. Uh, wait, wait, what, what killed you? Well, I'm getting there. So, okay. a few days in my travel, 
on my way to Adderport, actually. And uh, some bandits, I guess they wanted my belongings, but they wanted more than just that as well. Bless you. Germans, bless you. Uh, and yeah, I was uh, mugged of my possessions and my life. But as I was passing on, and it was a weird feeling. It, I don't know if it was over the course of five seconds or five years. It, was, it felt very weird. Death is very strange. But um, I was being brought to the other side, probably determinist aside. And I heard some voice, some entity, I don't know what, just give me a second, uh, offer me a second chance. And my true cowardice shown, I suppose, and I took it. Then I woke up, had this stupid amulet on, uh, my hair was no longer brown, gray, and my eyes were no longer green, were gray. And, uh, well, I don't know any more than that. I just know I got this stupid amulet now. Man. Yeah. So, and yeah. I, all that happened. And I was very worried. One, to tell you about the Asimar thing. Or, is that how you pronounce it? Angel Man. Let's just go with that. Hey, about the Angel Man stuff. <laughs> I was worried about that. Uh, just because my parents always told me not to tell people. Wait, uh, wait. How do you know that you're an angel man? Like, they said it, but What do you like, mean? Well, yeah, I've like I've a regular, felt like it. You seem like a regular Joe. Yeah, do you... Like a physical... Well... Yeah, I, I don't see a halo. That's pretty not... Sure, pretty sure that goes with it. You don't, wait, either. you don't see it? I don't see it either. No. Oh. <laughs> like, is that a thing? A ghost... Oh, is that why you can see ghosts? Could you always see ghosts? No, that was after I died. Oh, okay. That, I think that's the amulet. I, I'm not entirely sure how it works. I believe my spirit is, like, uh, kind of stuck in both the, I don't know, the ethereal plane and maybe the, I don't know how it works. I just feel like half of me is here, half of me is in where the ghosts reside. And I think that's why I can see those. How do you, uh... It's, all very new to me. This is, it's only been like two months. Have you been able to check in with your parents? I haven't wanted to. Well, I ran. I they don't know, or I didn't yeah. tell them I was leaving. I just left, I, and oh, yeah. to have to come back and be like, "Oh, hey, I died right after leaving." That's a bit embarrassing. No, no, yeah, I, I'm. I don't want to, you know, be anything here. But from what it seems like, with how your amulet works, to give life, it's got to take. A life, and I. Why I don't want to take more. I don't want to give more lives. I. But want to avoid that. Doesn't it also work with whoever is the closest to the one who died, or anything similar to that? It's very abstract. It, it's there's very no abstract. set in stone way that it works, I believe, but it's definitely not. I don't know, benevolent. It's. Uh, wait. Yeah. No benevolent. No I'm benevolent. Benevolent. Yeah. I, I'm. A, Benevolent, oh, right? The nice one. It's not nice. Benevolent okay. is the good. Malevolent. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's, it's not benevolent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you see, Dell, um, who has kind of been staying in the back of this conversation this whole time. She kind of just goes, "What do you mean about giving life?" Um. Oh, that's actually very she interesting. She doesn't know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the whole thing no that happened. Knows. No one knows. Yeah, no. Yeah. Ser- oh, sorry, Aurelius doesn't even know. That's true. That's right. Oh, well, was, I not, was I not supposed to know that? No, you know. Okay. Told, told I told all, all of you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but nobody else on the ship knows except you, uh, you four. Hmm. Well, uh, there was a time when we were on Lagan that we were attacked on the ship. And uh, Aurelius was killed by, I think, some bandits or some an, person. An automaton. Yeah, an automaton. Uh, wasn't it a person? Uh, one of the Warforged? Warforged. Oh, it was one of the robots? Uh, yeah, it was one of the Warforged. Uh, he died, and this amulet gave me a chance to bring him back, and I felt like he was important, so I, I did so. 
not knowing the consequences. Well, somewhat knowing the consequences. And if you remember the whole uh, riot that happened in your establishment, it was kind of because... Oh, I 100% it, remember yes, that. Yes, yes, it took, uh, to give Aurelius life, it took a life from uh, one of the crew. Kind of what happened and caused all that. The man who disappeared was traded for Rel? Essentially. And I wasn't entirely aware that's what it would do. I don't think. Did uh, you unpick you, that man? No, that's why it's abstract. It's just, you don't know how close the person's going to be to you and who it's going to take. If I had a pick, I don't think I could have done it. You see she falls silent at this and just kind of leans back and just uh, crosses her arms, looking like she's in, in thought. Mm -hmm. um, if you would like, uh, you, anyone can roll an insight check if you feel it is appropriate for your character. Um, I mean, it's a 10, but still. Uh, I think neither of those necessarily. Yeah, no. She's it's very stone-faced, just like very... It probably is a disadvantage, too, with what's going on right now. <laughs> uh, Dalit, you look over at Dell, and as long as you've known Dell, you've learned a couple of things about her. You knew that she was a soldier at one point, a mercenary. You know that she's taken lives before. Uh, you know that she knows what happens in the heat of battle, what happens out in the fields. The thing you know most of all about Dell is that she cares about Mirla more than probably anyone. And something in the way that Ilaf just said, he doesn't know who it's going to take, has put her on edge. Yeah, all very fair. Hey, Ilaf? Yeah? So, we got about just to when we met and all that. What, ju what happened just now? Right. Um, gosh, it all happened so fast, it feels like a week ago. Uh, you can take your time. <laughs> what did happen? Uh, so, the past owner of this amulet was part of the, you know, the troop that stopped the Red Wraith the first mm -hmm. time. And uh, she apparently is stuck within the amulet or something? I'm not entirely sure, but she's been watching us this entire time, and she... Uh, was finally, I don't know, visible to me. And I believe that's because the amulet is worsening right now. Uh, yeah. Worsening? And, yeah, it's something about me, like, refusing to use it, and it's getting, like, hungry. I don't know. I don't really know if it's hungry, but it wants me to use it, and I don't want to. Uh, but, yeah, it was basically just her saying, hey, uh, you know, a lot of power, a lot of responsibility kind of thing, and that uh, it's a uh, danger. Dangerous for all of us. And the damage Fair. she did to you and Suma. Well, that, I don't understand why she did that. That was just literally uncalled for, if you ask me. I, it, so she just hurt. attacked you guys and said, Danger? And Yeah, she was like, hey... I don't know, man. She just attacked us. All right. All right. Uh, well, she was she was trying to make a point, but I think it was not the greatest way to go about it. But I mean, I don't know her, and I don't know, you know, what it was like back then. I don't know how long ago it was. I don't know. Is she good? Bad? Well, she was part of the group that stopped the Red Wraith, so I can't imagine bad. I don't think she attacked us with ill intent. I think it was just to prove a point uh, in a strange and kind of hurt, you know, harming way. Trust you on that. Have you tried to ever take the amulet off? Like, as for this? Uh, yeah. Does it just... It's same, same thing with your ring, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, uh, Suma. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling up for it. I don't rem I don't know if you can do it, but can you check out his amulet? Mm. 
you should have done that from the start. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> here, take um, a look. Yeah, I will take a look. Do uh, I don't know if you can take it off or if I can take some. I mean, you'll just have to like... touch it on my chest. Yeah, that's basically. Yeah. Or I'll hold uh, it out you can for you. Hold it in your hand. I think as long as it's still touching you. <laughs> okay, as long as it's yeah, that makes sense. Um, it's like on your person still, so you can like hold yeah, it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll hold it up. Don't mind my personal too. space. Uh, um. <laughs> Yeah, for the hell of it, because why the heck not? You already I'll looked at my ring. And identify. <laughs> uh, see if that tells me anything. Your mind implodes. You die. I know, if you right? hold the amulet, you cast identify. Go through uh, the process of casting the spell. What you get back is an extremely powerful and concentrated divine energy. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily benevolent, not necessarily malevolent, but mm -hmm. certainly divine and of a certain power that no mortal understanding of magic um, has been able to touch or replicate uh, in any kind of way. So. Normally, I think Identify would allow you to kind of know, like, the mm -hmm. school of magic um, uh, that kind of crafted a certain yeah, item yeah. or it's been imbued in, in, in an item. But this is like, no school of magic could make this or could replicate this effect, so it's kind of beyond the spell in that respect. But uh, I think similarly, I think earlier in the campaign, you had cast Identify on Gal's ring. Um, mm -hmm. I did. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a very similar vibe of like this was crafted by a, be a being beyond um mortal understanding and does it feel like um that same energy that happened when uh i mean obviously when patrice died but also um when uh, what's his name andros when andros disappeared back to the reaper is it kind of like that at all? Uh, make an arcana check for me. Okay. By the way, Ruby, you're just glowing right now. What happened? You're just so happy. <laughs> um, on a 21 arcana check, uh, Suma, I think you... It's almost as if this thing is acting as... Um, an amplifier um, for your understanding of what this type of magic is. It is a very similar energy to that of um, Patrice's first disappearance of Andros reappearing back on the ship. And now that you are kind of like looking around you, it's you can also kind of feel it from the Reaper itself. As you kind of tap into um, your knowledge and experience of this type of of this type of force you're trying to see, you're starting to see that maybe it's not the same but all of it seems to rhyme if that makes sense mm -hmm. well there's not much i can definitively tell you about this except to say that its power is beyond mm, arcane education <laughs> My skills are more, uh, my skills are more in the realm of things that have been created and studied by people over the years, but this is divine. This is older and more powerful than my realm of expertise, anyway. Well, I was a bit, uh, I guess, embarrassed to say, but I believe it was actually given to me by uh, terminus and not the entity. Actually, I don't. I, I don't understand what the entity was. It hasn't tried to communicate with me since, so I don't know what that was about. But the entity uh, that spoke to you when you that gave died, me the second maybe. chance. Yeah. Uh, and I, I believed at first the amulet was from that source, but I now think it's actually from terminus, and maybe it's some sort of punishment for making that decision uh, against. A better judgment and against oh, his. Oh, uh, Terminus doesn't like chat. that. Yeah. Yeah, he would prefer that I move on. Go, you know. Hey, I can't blame you. That's, you. I, I, yeah. 
I can't play. I would have probably taken that second pick. Well, knowing what I know now, I wouldn't have. Well, but you gotta make the most of it now. That's hey, Rob, kind of the idea. What do you... I don't know if you know the answer to this question. This has all just happened, but... What will you do if the amulet's power is growing the less you use it? Are you going to continue to not use it? Are you going to... What are you going to do? Well, I don't fully understand both its potential, its, uh... All of its abilities, I don't know how it works still. It doesn't exactly come with a user's guide. But, so hopefully there's other uses of it other than bringing someone back and killing another, uh, which I may use instead. But if it's just bringing someone back, then I I don't know. I don't think I could, uh, I don't think I could do that. Not again, at least, after what happened last time. Even if the cost is the death of someone you care about. Well, that's why I could never use it. Because, I don't know, it's just that there's too much to weigh on yourself that you selfish, selfishly brought someone back and killed another. It's just, it, it, even if it's this stupid amulet doing it, I still me in the end. I still was the one that caused it. I'm only asking questions. It's no, I know. something to I... think about. <laughs> yep. Is uh, have you ever tested? Or I know it's not something you want to do, but have you ever tried with curses like these, or at least for Aramis's? You can get rid of something if you give it away, not leave it. But then, what if someone uses it wrong? If they kill many people, I don't know its power. I don't know. What else it can be? It could be horrible in the wrong hands. Unless you want it. <laughs> I w if, I'm just saying we could have, we could, you know, essentially give it a try of you give it away, then the person give it back immediately after. I also don't know if I die after that. I don't know how it works. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it might be a type the, of. The attachment, yeah. I mean, your heart's supposed to be working, right? Like, how technically I. Um. I might. <laughs> Probably. I already have a necklace, though, guys. It's already gonna be Actually, that's a good, good question. Chino, do I feel like a- do I have a pulse? Right? Like, I do, right? Sure. Make a medicine check. <laughs> sure! For yourself. No, no, you have a- you have a pulse. You can- okay. you can breathe. Yeah, you that's breathe. what I thought. When you're in stress, you can feel your heart beat in your chest, you know. Get like, I'm not and... undead. I'm just in a- like, my soul is what's kind of fucked up, not my- actual physical being uh i will say um it you are correct in that you were not given a user manual uh i would say it's up to a lock to decide whether he feels like the amulet is a condition attached to his still being here um maria strongly implied that that was the case Mm -hmm. Um, she that essentially said, if you destroy die. it, yeah. it would be better for everybody, because then you won't be able to misuse it. In the same way that you feel like if anyone else had it, they would misuse it, um, or had the potential to misuse it. She feels similarly in that, maybe different exact attitudes or reasons for doing so. And she also feels like, if improperly used, it will be worse. And so, if you get the chance to destroy it, even if it, it might kill you, but it's her opinion, that perhaps that would be better. Or at least that's what she communicated to him. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like a few. we have a few goals with this. We were just trying to learn a bit more about it and seeing if we can use it in any way other than bringing someone back to life. So we've got a little bit of a timetable on this, but honestly, I, you know, I'm not a magic user, but magic is magic. If, you, if it's building up power... All you gotta do is find a way to use it. So that's you know, what I mean. So hopefully there's other abilities. Yeah. Maybe we can something else. Like maybe Suma can make a cool arcane thing with Tinker, to, and then he just put in as a battery. You know, just you know. Make well, a, make a cannon. I, you know, make I, a cannon. Well, I mean, 
I it'll be. I, I would have to be attached to the cannon. Well, yeah, I, I yeah, no, 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 it would be a bad. Like you'd be, you'd be the gunner. I okay, so I'd be using the cannon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You put your necklace oh, in. Yeah, you'd yeah. aim it and then shoot it and just see how that works. It's something. It is something. <laughs> I don't... I feel like yes, tinkering so with such curses that are beyond our well, <laughs> understanding. Curses is... suck, dude. As from one curse user to another, it's. <laughs> You know, you guys could try switching curses for people that's that for the, how that feels. Uh, walk, yeah. my, walk, walk each other's shoes, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be fun for both of us, huh? Yeah. We should do that. Mm. Switching episodes. Actually, I think even better, we should give both of them to Ruby and let her see what it's like for both of us. You know, if anyone yeah. was gonna successfully handle it, I think it would be Ruby. Yeah, you know what, Ruby? Oh, thanks. You want them? You want some jewelry? They look pretty cool. Yeah, they look so nice. A few caveats, but <laughs> free stuff always has that. I do have a weakness for jewels. That's but... true. This one has a green jewel say... right in the center. I'm gonna say no for now. That's um... ghastly that you'd say that. Wow. Surprise. It's it just looks so good on you guys, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I do pull it off. Sure, so, for sure. Man, have we ever been in the war room? I feel like we need to replace these chairs. They suck. Yeah, no, I, I sat in mine, and I didn't think I didn't look to think to look. It's somehow wet. And this is just going to be my night now. It sucks. Gotta look at the ceiling for I don't even have dripping. my boots on. Spooky. Is there water dripping from the ceiling? <laughs> you see, you see, Delgos, I think Simon might have been crying in that one. Oh. Not this in like a, not like in a super sad way. I think he was really happy, actually, like happy tears. Oh so, yeah, no, I just oh. lo lots of little lights just dotting around. I think that was his. Yeah, feeling. he probably learned another cantrip or something. Yeah. I don't know. He's he's really about that magic stuff lately. Yeah. Well, so I still have questions. Oh so... man, I was ready to go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> now you're getting the but wait. But wait, there's more. <laughs> This is the party's kept... signature move. <laughs> I kept trying to, and then I realized that I was muted, and I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, no. oh. Like, It's fine. Okay, but, so that was the first time you ever met this chick. Rhea. Oh, uh, yeah. Was not an ex-lover. Not a No, it was not. It was not. Nope. Had the vibes of that, somehow. She just no. didn't tell you. Definitely, like, centuries before my what time. You? Wait, what kind you know of what, what do you think love is? Explosive, obviously. So no, I guess it's I would that would qualify in my book. Um, what experience do you have with love? Ha! Huh? Nice you never one, talked about it. We're not. We're not talking Nerd. about this. We're not talking about this right now. Um. Talking about what? I was making a joke. Anyways. Oh. You're asking. She's not used to you making about jokes. My personal life. I'm sorry. I know. I am in a weird mood right now. It's really weird. Do you need water? I feel like you've never talked this much There's before. water all around me. My my yeah. throat is very coarse and yeah. Um, so do we know anything about Maria? Have like we heard anything about her through our questing? Mm. Like, what I've said is what well, no. the amulet. Yeah, see, that was, like, I was trying to ask her that, but she was kind of, like, not being very specific. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. No idea. Um, we oh. don't know much about her now, but when we get to Portia, maybe she would know more, since they yeah. traveled together. Sure. By the way, Alok does have an idea. <laughs> He's just not saying it. Wow. And I feel like it's pretty easy to read him. It's Alok. Yeah. Uh, so better. we're... We're all here. We're all very intelligent individuals. I mean, how do you see? Except those? for the cannon idea, I don't know who brought that up. How do you see yeah. our hush now? That's a good one. <laughs> I think that was. It, it's better than what we had, which was nothing. But let's definitely keep that a plan Z. I dislike yeah. the idea of something happening and not even being able to see it. Can do we know how to make ourselves see ghosts? Well, I kept pointing her, pointing at her, but you guys were looking in the opposite direction. Yeah. It was weird that we all agreed to look at the wall behind you while you Yeah, I know. If, if you had looked where I was pointing, you all would have seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's just weird. But, uh, yeah. that's... 
I thought I might have been able to start looking into ghosts because I, you know, could see Alice, the, well, the outline of Alice once, but uh, I guess not. Maybe so. there's a pair of glasses we could pick up, like the mm -hmm. Gemini glasses or something. Well, that means only <laughs> one person could see a ghost. I'm just what trying to offer intelligent uh, Okay, hear, yeah. me Wait, hear me out. Hear me out. Why would it be Gemini? Okay. You saw G and G. You saw ghosts Twins. after you died and had the amulet. How do we know it's Dirt. the amulet? What if one of us just dies, Ruby brings them back and sees if we see ghosts? What? Well, I'm just saying, well, like, Valer I'm trying to, would... I'm trying, oh yeah, Valer should be able to see ghosts. If that's true. Oh, that's what you mean. Well, I feel like there'd be more accounts of that, because that's happened many times before in this world. Yeah. A lot of people have been revived. It's not like it's a, it's not like we invented the idea. We did it? I'm good, I'm just not <laughs> that good. Yeah, oh. she actually kind of stole from other people's ideas. I mean, yeah. canonically, I don't think Alok knows how long he was dead. No, he has no idea. True. You're actually 50. <laughs> I knew those worry lines were a bit weird for someone your age. <laughs> oh! I was wondering so, why your back the, hurt! Oh. What, was the most, what was the newest technology that came out? No, that's not true. <laughs> Who's the Did president? Come out? Yeah. Yeah, who's the which, which Ada was in control at the time? <laughs> Figure this out, yeah. <clears throat> there is actually a spell that I think uh, could help us see what Alok sees, but um, yeah, just start working on that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> actually, I, that is actually a question. Like, what year is it, and what year was it? Is it the same year? Because I, I mean, I wouldn't know that. As far as I'm aware, like, year is sixteen thirteen currently. Mm -hmm. 1613. And what was it? Before I like when I died, fifteen ten. Uh, I guess you would know that. I don't know if you probably would have asked. I mean, how often do people talk about what year it is, really? Um, Rarely. Well, yeah. when you die, I assume you might have a reason you to would... ask. Certain no, questions. he would have been. He would not have asked that because why would he think that? Oh, okay. unless, he woke up. Unless he woke up in the exact same spot. That's true. I guess. Yeah, if there was like yeah. cover car, they'd be like, okay, wait. <laughs> Yeah, to him it would be like maybe it was just one day, and maybe I, maybe I died in the afternoon. And I woke up at night or something weird. Yeah, yeah. Unless you woke thing. up and there's snow, and it was like previously spring. That that would be weird. Uh, do you ask that question like in character? To I'm asking. Yeah, I'm asking them what year. Do you, do you ask or, them like what year it is? Yeah. Well, okay. So you said you told us what year it is already, and now I'm trying to think back to like what Alok would know is what year it was when he died. Yeah. Um. Let's see. No, he has to think about it. <laughs> 14, 10. Yikes. 13, oh, no. <laughs> it's the age of pirates, wasn't it? That would be very interesting, because I haven't talked to my parents. You but Draga's still alive. Draga, she's a, like, Draga, Draga. I think she's a half-elf. She's a half-elf, I think, which is like a 150 she's year span. She's a half-elf. Yeah, it can't be too many years. Unless Lawrence. she has special things about her, too. What if she's half siblings? elven and half uh, elven? No, no siblings. Uh, it was 1606. Okay. Whoa. Lots to remember. So seven... You lost a decade! That's a lot! <laughs> Wait, what year is it now? It's 13? 13. Mm -hmm. Seven years. Seven years. Oh, less than a decade, but, you know. Your wow. parents might... Your parents think you're dead, and they were right for they a little bit. They are so worried about oh. you. I am. That's so really scared. bad. That's horrifying. That's, this is actually like a like didn't know this apparently. I would would a like have known that? Would he have like an, at any point seen the year that it was, any calendars or something? Because I feel like that would have that had to have come up in within three months. Someone says. I mean, if like you that. think about it, how often? In a month, do you say? I mean, okay, exclude the current, the past couple of years, because it's always like, ah, twenty twenty is the worst year ever. But well, yeah. Like, in in character, very few people say what year it is. Do calendars um, not exist? Do people not like date their uh, their evenings, their their months? To know what's maybe gonna it happen. just has the. Have you been to many highfalutin places months? since you started your adventuring career? That's a good point. 
Well, we live in fantasy okay. times, friend. Well, what about like when we signed the contract in, to join the your... shield? Okay. Them? You, here's the thing: your journal you keep religiously. Would you? Did, does Alok sign the years in his journal? He probably puts down the exact date, but if he didn't know about the new year, he'd be putting down the old years. So, like he he would have still put down oh six. So it's not like he, yeah. The only I think the only place that realistically we would have seen a date is either in Aramis's old captain's quarters or in the shield when we were signing up to be members. You're like he's writing in the future. That's so weird. <laughs> Man, what yeah, an no. idiot. Uh, this is news to you. This is news okay. to you. Okay. Uh, I think it's it's. Um... You forgot to check, Mister Ryan. It was how up to often, you. How often do you... Like, yeah, I mean, I think in general, especially back then, uh, it's not like you just have, you know, calendars everywhere. Not everybody mm -hmm. has a dedicated calendar on them all the time. Um, and things have been pretty uh, fast and hectic. You have had no reason to talk about what year it is or what year it has been. Um, yeah, that's fair. It's, also, it's hard to compare, like, our world to this world because, like, you know, on the computer you see the date. And you that, see the date all the you time. You see it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I think it's back then it's like people don't talk about what year it is that much. Especially, yeah. I think, uh, since you were you were in the airport for a very short amount of time, you were mm -hmm. in the gone in and out. For the most part, you have just been on the ship with everybody else. And I think it's up to you, to, I mean, up to everybody else to be like, how often do you guys talk about? Okay. How many? How what been a, There's been a lot going on. He wouldn't have time to look, right? Like he wouldn't care about the date. Yeah, I don't think he would. When was when were you born? Anyway? Oh, what, you, what, you, what, what are you saying? What are you saying, Viv? Oh, I was going to say the Grim Reaper wouldn't even know the crew because they're all like, oh, they're in denial, but that's they're dead. Oh, yeah. You can't be in denial if you're like, oh wait, I am beyond the average lifespan of a halfling. That's weird. Wacky. Other way, Alok is. Del says what? <laughs> Oh Did yeah. About what? Oh yeah. So Dell, uh, just to let you know, you, Miela, the two people we picked up today, and Pinkerton are the only people, including us. We're the only ones that are actually alive. Alive. It's a. We learned. Uh, Welcome to the Grim Reaper. Yeah, this is a what? ghost ship. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. What do you mean? We're the only alive people. Uh, that's sort of it. That we're the only one. It's a whole thing. Aramis, the douche, bef the douche captain before, was like, "Sign my hand, and you'll be granted a second chance." And basically enslaved them. And this is the basically they're enslaved to the ship until they're not, and we don't know how that not works. The only thing we've oh, seen... I need to tell you something about that. Huh? huh? Wait. Huh? Okay, everyone, Del. just start speaking up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Del fully just stands up and she says, I am going to go have several drinks. Strong yeah. ones. I oh. Uh, you best you believe in like ghost them. stories. You're in I... one. You're in <laughs> one. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So uh, I know I was okay with her being here, but I wouldn't mind you not telling Miela. Uh... Del, just because you know about which it's a thing lot. specifically. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it'd be also weird with them we knowing did. the ghost thing, and like, like well, it's so weird. So at first, I didn't want to tell anybody about the whole angel thing because you know. Yeah, I was told not to. Like, yeah, like yeah, like yeah. dangerous. Racial yeah, profiling yeah. is a is an actual worry. Yes, I know. The the problem is that. I had a connection to my god, and that's why when you were talking to Ruby about that, I felt a little awkward. Oh, yeah, that would be Yeah, weird. that did kind of hurt, yeah. Wait, so um, did he talk to you or not? He used to. Well, I, it wasn't really what? him. He used no, to? It, it wasn't really, like, Terminus directly. It was one of his, like, uh, higher angels that was kind of my protector. It's really You weird know stuff. angels? Okay, let's oh, not anymore, because I, the whole, you know, amulet thing. Uh, You still kinda, know that angel? I know of them. Okay, so the thing is, you don't really, like, talk to them. It's mostly through dreams and, like, weird oh, messages. Some, sometimes it would be words. Like, very rarely. There wasn't a lot. I didn't really get very far in my <laughs> life when it would get important. It was and, they, just, and they just stopped because, okay. Because, the well, my, my whole, like, connection to Terminus kind of got severed, which, on that, it kind of messed up my whole angel stuff. And now it's very embarrassing to talk about because it's uh, very not 
I, angelic. I, I apologize. Yeah. I did not realize yeah. that was gonna hurt that bad. Yeah, that's if, if any of your characters are like smart, like you know, Suma. If you studied, you know that that means falling out. I know that. You see, Del <laughs> Del cuts in. And she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go get those drinks. Does anybody have any requests?" Yeah, I know you eat milk yeah. for this kid. I know about that. Okay, okay. milk, please. Can I get some a refill on this popcorn and then an ale too? Okay, I mean, actually, it's a lot. Can you carry all that? I mean, I'm very strong. Okay. Okay. I just want some uh, wine. Just some nice wine. You see, Dell. She kind of like um, motions to leave. Now she gets to like the the second part of the war room, kind of the end, the the enter antechamber. She turns back. And she says, I've done a lot of killing in my time. And if there's anything I have to say about any of this, it's that as tragic as it might get, the dead should stay dead. Um... She glances at, she looks at you directly in the eyes, Alok. Glances at the amulet, then back up. And she says, especially if you're not in control of what that thing chooses. And then she walks out of the room. And she goes down the stairs. I'm sorry, she really pointed you out there, Ruby. That's, I'm, I guess she knew somehow. This vision problem. You need those those Gemini glasses, stat. I think. I think so. I mean, she's I, clearly looking at a log. I don't know. I, she was talking about dead should remain dead, and that's sort of your whole deal, it seems recently. I haven't actually done anything yet. Well, yeah, she's yeah. been killing, right? Oh well, yeah, she's Ruby's been killing, and she's you know maybe been wanting to bring them back. You know, that hasn't just... happened. You didn't even want to bring those guys. Wendell's back, though. <laughs> Yeah. Well, two, been... two Windell cool. resurrections so far. I wow. told you guys everything now, and I am very tired. Uh, Thank you for opening up about more... this. I am sorry it took so long. You gotta understand, it was very embarrassing, mostly, and that potentially dangerous. If it's very embarrassing. Hey, not that embarrassing, okay. buddy. You just died okay, from so. bandits, and like, who doesn't die from bandits? I got stabbed by just a random well, that's mugger not, once. That that's not even the worst, but like, I I I know I'm weak, and you guys know I'm weak, so it's not a big deal. But what 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 was uh what did suck was the whole you know angel thing. That's uh, that kind of sucked. But yeah, that that sucks. My main goal is really just to fix that, I think, but also you know make the world a better place. All right, all right, make the world which a better maybe place. they. Co-align? I don't know. Yeah, they, yeah. I mean, you're an angel. Is that a word? Co-align? Yeah, sure. But let's just say so. Yeah, that's a good word. No. Uh, uh, Ruby, I think you had a thing. Oh yeah. I mean, you probably don't know this, but like when you died, did someone else, or like when you were resurrected, did someone else die? Because you were resurrected. I hope not. I don't know. Oh god. I mean, That's why I was worried about the parents thing. Now he's just Which by the way, you he's should just staring off because I'm having a heart attack right now. Soon as like... <laughs> you could maybe you can message them. <laughs> I can certainly try. Well, I I suppose I could. Um although this whole revelation of seven years, that's How old are you? Troubling. Like with the seven years or without? Yeah, with the seven years. It counts. Does it count? Yeah, oh, it God. counts. Your body stayed there, I guess. Let me look. I actually don't know if my body stayed there. I imagine it did. I'm uh, counting it. Uh, 20, 27. You're 27. Oh, wow. I guess, yeah. You're still, I, I, you're still the relatively the same. Not much has changed, honestly. No. I might be young. I'm I have noticed since I woke up. My my knees have hurt a lot more. Since yeah. I woke up, so. Uh, Oof, that is there. <laughs> that is rough, buddy. I'm sorry about yep. that. Skin is getting wrinkly. We missed, yep. Twenty seven. Wow. Oof. 
Anyways. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. I'm, let's I'm, start questioning someone else, so, you know, kind of less so, pressure on me. So, Ruby, why are you glowing? I mean, you are all over the board right now. So much yellow also, radiance coming out. I'm also you. an ASMR, so. Oh, finally. Oh. The truth come out. Oh, yeah. I believe it. So, when are your wings coming in? I don't actually uh, need them oh. because I. I don't know. I can walk on water. Does that count? Hey, that I heard some kind of religious figure could do that, so you know what? We'll count it. I've heard it before, yeah. Yeah. But what if you never need something in the water? Can you can you go under the water? Can you part the water? <laughs> that would be useful. And next time we have to do this, I will try it out. Um, Does walking on water just all... apply to all liquids? Like what? In what situation do you imagine there being a large like body of water that's not water, but like Acid. you mean like Jello? Well, a acid, acid, beer, wine. It can happen. I guess I I will try it when that comes up because apparently I'm always the skinny pig for me to do something sketchy. Well, you so. need, we need the strongest to do this. Besides, if it goes bad, you can just grow your wings in the moment. Also, this means I'm not the only person that's been down. Alex's been down because oh, he true. died. Yeah, that. that so. We count well, those. We count you've those. Never well, died okay. Before. I feel like I've never died before. Okay, I feel like none of that had to be pointed out. I've been down before that is <laughs> since I've known true. you. That's also you've that's seen also it. True. Everyone yeah, here so but me unnecessary. has been down. It's okay. I know everyone here has got a few weaknesses. It's fine. Every seven right now. I'm just keeping tally, <laughs> and so now you're back at the bottom. Yeah, so that's that's fair. Oh, I'll remember yeah. that next time you're down, and I can I'll bring you back. Wait, wait, hey, hey, like, is that how you're able to, like, you know, just like? Touch? Yeah, that's from being an angel. I... So you still have angel powers. Well, yeah, yes. It's weird. Um, can you I heal me? Able to do power. what? I've never been but... healed by you. Can you heal me? Heal. This is very weird. Come on. I think I'd actually rather. I feel like I'd rather heal Suma because you know he got hit by. Oh, that's true. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Everyone, everyone, yeah. be quiet, be quiet. Let's, uh, let's see him at his work. He just stares awkwardly. You got this. <laughs> at all of you. I don't know if I want to do this. No, oh, come on. This is very. You're putting me on the spot. This is uh, just you know. Weird. Touch well, Suma. It feels wrong to use the powers because I, you know, you know, had the whole. Not. Like, my god's kind of mad at me now, the god that I was supposed to serve in this, because I'm an angel, you know, the whole thing. Is this the power from your god, or from you? Yeah, well, I, that's what they, they told me at the church, that it was, that I was in, uh, what are we saying? Are we saying Asimar? Yasimar. I say Asimar. <laughs> I like Asimar, but I'm pretty sure it's Asimar, but I like Asimar. Uh, they told me that Asimar are usually, you know, like, connected to a, a specific god and that's usually their worship and mine was terminus well it's true i had that connection so then that connection hasn't been severed there's still hope oh, for well, you no it, it most definitely has then heal suma and prove it <laughs> well you that's the thing it, i think that just rekindle the connection i, I don't believe that's it's true. well that is my goal is to hopefully fix it but i don't believe it doesn't work like a cleric a cleric doesn't have innate divine powers i do do you have to say a spell like, when I feel you do like, it? Do you have to say, like, well, hamana, hamana, hamana? I've no. Seen, I've seen Ruby not, do that. Have you ever because, seen him do that? Have you I, seen him? I thought you did that before. Did you not go, like, hamana, hamana? Who, me? I, I thought there was verbal stuff to yours. Um, he definitely doesn't do anything. He just... No, I'm talking to Ruby. Oh, I, I know. Oh, okay, so she's done it. Better than basically. Oh. Um... You're very, you're very stealth about it. I thought you were using like some kind of medical kit. Like it was a while until I, I was like, oh, you know. Uh, I told you that it was something I learned from the accolades, which isn't. It's not necessarily a lie because they did kind of show me how to use the powers, but but it's not. The powers were kind of. I'm born with them, so I don't have to rely on retaining these powers from Terminus. They, it did kind of become 
tainted in a way with this, the severing of our connection. So it's a little. <clears throat> Anyways, so back to talking about somebody else. I don't believe you. I think you're okay. fine. I think you think I'm fine? I think, well, not all of you, obviously. I think well, your connection isn't fully severed if you can do that. If you saw... Well, I don't believe it's fully severed. Well, it's weird. I believe it's, there's uh, a chance to, re as there's a chance to repair say, uh, it, I hope. As Sumo would say on Ocean Book, it's complicated. <laughs> there it is. That's the biggest area we know. I mean, space is not real, right? It's an astral sea. It's astral yeah. sea. The astral sea. Well, I'm happy we got really far. We learned a lot about each other at this meeting. I'm happy we've all come together. You know what? Del was supposed to come back, right? Is she doing that still? Can I go? Yeah, she comes awkward? back. She oh, okay. Comes back and she like sets down. There's a milk for Alok and an ale. Uh, wine for Ga uh, oh. ale for Ruby, wine for Gallic, Thank and you. Suma. Uh, uh, would you have gotten wine or ale? Uh, I would have asked for like a cocktail, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we're, we're pirates, we're not that fancy. What? Yeah, and Del she, that fancy. That's true. She she makes something up for you. Uh, it's called um a Spitfire. Um, she and it it's. It's it's it has a very smooth taste, but it like in the back of your throat it like burns pleasantly. Uh, and when she sets it down on the table, you see like there's like a little glow in the inside of like um like orange like whirling its way to like a dark pool of liquid. It tastes it's very delicious. Um, I just like watch. Yeah, she should have given a while. you. <laughs> um, should have given you fireball. Uh yes, basically. So <laughs> Alok was waiting for her to come back because he didn't want to leave awkwardly. And then she'd come back with the milk, and he's not there. So he's gonna chug the milk, and he's gonna begin to leave. Uh, hey, Ruby. Chug the milk. As, yeah. as the head of HR, do you think we should have these uh, meetings every once a month or so, just to check in? Yeah, I guess just to make this room, just to, you know, to use it. Yeah, we never so use more stuff. Here. You heard that, A-Lock, right Ooh. behind me? Bye, ray lock right behind me. Also, that's, uh, that's a fair Suma. point. If you wanted an attack of opportunity on a lock, uh, oh, you could have. for sure, yeah. <laughs> Shock and <laughs> dread. My secret agenda. <laughs> for a second. All right, I should have rolled stealth before I left, but he um, would have tried to leave quietly. Uh, a lock definitely, in the midst of everybody beginning to drink, uh, slinks out of the back, heads back to his room. Um, the rest of you, uh, so you guys had appointed, um, you guys are going to leave sometime in the morning tomorrow. Um, is there anything you guys want to do tonight before we kind of transition into the next day and onto your journey away from Gap? I don't need uh, to. Uh, I had one thing to do. Okay. Uh, anybody else? I was just going to say, I don't need to RP it, but I'm just going to go over, like, outside with my wine and just, you know, shake it out and look wistfully into the distance. And then eventually uh, go to bed. Um, on the deck of the ship? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you go out on the deck of the ship, and you see uh, Olivia, um, uh, one of your new passengers, just, like, sitting uh, on the railing, kind of her legs kicking, um, kind of also looking out into the middle distance dramatically as the waves uh, uh, lift the ship up and rest it down uh, very gently in the wind. Um, strong as ever, and a place like Dallin blows through. Um, she looks at you briefly, kind of nods. Uh, I don't think you just came out there to look wistfully. Yeah. Uh, uh, she, I think she understands that and kind of gets to get out inside. Um, and uh, Suma wanted to do something. Ruby, anything? Mm, probably not. All right. Uh, you return to uh, to your room. Um, uh, uh, Perhaps, you know, in the heat of the moment, it's kind of, I don't think you really had the time to process the fact that Suzanne had come back into your room and kissed you, but perhaps now is the time to process that. Uh, at Suma, what uh, what did you want to do before uh, we kind of close I, out tonight? Um, I just have a quick sending to send. Um, everyone's favorite spell. So I'm going to send to Zisha a message before I go to sleep. Oh, okay. Uh, that says, We'll arrive in Jassar in a few weeks. 
might get distracted by the choosing. Weird question. Do you still have that prisoner's body? Love you. <laughs> uh, she shoots back. Um, I pray the winds are on your side. The choosing does seem to have the surface astir. I have it still. And as always, I love you too. That's not the voice I'm going to use for her. I just I had to think about what <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that one. Um, yeah. Uh, you hear that in your mind. Uh, she punctuates that with a little over-sending, a little kissy sound. Um, Is that a word or? <laughs> it's an, um, it's an emoji. It's a count. It's a, she sends an emoji. <laughs> an emoji counts for ha uh, a half a word. Um, oh, in good, good, good. We sense. are in 1613, so... <laughs> yeah, come on! I can lie to you, we didn't have those. Well, that changes my whole... Okay, cool. Anyway. <laughs> um, yep, that's it. Great, okay, cool. Um, uh, we are gonna move on uh, to the next day! Um, uh, today is the day of your um, your voyage away uh, out of Gallon and towards uh, Polea. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, you all arise um, when you do. Uh, Aloc doesn't want to go on. Um, the rest of you, uh, you know, wake up when you choose to. Um, you guys wake and, like, kind of, you know, the plan has been set. Uh, the destination has been set already. Uh, uh, people get up a little bit earlier than they normally would. Um, they didn't drink a ton the day before. Uh, a lot of people were still <laughs> too hungover Love yesterday you. from, like, the ball. Um, uh, everybody's kind of up and awake and running about on top of the ship. People pick some stuff up. People are getting the sails ready and, and the rigging ready. Uh, Simon is fervently uh, counting up the provisions. And, um, oh, a nat 20 on the port and roll. Um, very interesting. Um, yeah, uh, Aelok as well. Feel free to, you know, a five on times. the roll. But you gotta have a bad one, too. Uh, yeah, it is. It's very good to have a bad one as well. Um, yeah, you guys get ready. Uh, you see, um, well, uh, uh, eventually you guys kind of hear, um, <clears throat> like somebody at the bottom of the gangplank to call up, like, "Well, this must be the ship." Uh, um, whoever might be on deck at the moment, you look down and you see a uh, uh, better brass hand. Um, at the bottom, you know, burly, uh, dwarf, just kind of like tank top, um, uh, kind of tunic, but like the sleeves cut off. And he's, he's you know, pretty yoked. Um, uh, kind of has like a bunch of like um, tattoos like uh, across his arms. Um, uh, you see he has like a scraggly, uh, uh, dark, like black beard. Um, kind of, and uh, he has. Um, it's strange because you see that uh, he has he only has like a small pack for his belongings kind of slung over his shoulder, but he has is toting with him like an, a, a pretty like compared to his body kind of big uh, a small chest um, that seems to be uh, locked multiple times with like uh, seemingly arcane locks because you see that there are um, they're like black iron but also crisscrossed with these interlacing uh, uh, kind of deep, like, brassy, bronzy, uh, like, runes carved into them, he's kind of holding it in one arm, kind of carrying it like that, um, kind of walks up, and you see, uh, that he's being, uh, escorted by, uh, Sira, um, your pal from the shield, per perhaps, you know, he was like, hey, you know, I actually don't know if I know where the ship is or what it looks like, and they said I would know, but I kind of got confused. Uh, you see, uh, Sierra is there. She's looking up as well, expectantly, at the rest of the asterisk fate fighters. Ed, uh, do y'all say anything to them? Or you know, how do you approach? You know, how do you how do you escort Beta and Sierra onto your ship? Or like, you know, for the moment. Thank you for bringing them over, Sierra. Yeah, we can take Beta from here. Hey, Beta, welcome to the ship. <clears throat> welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, 
Um, but Matty, I found shit. Yeah. In great order, he looks at it, kind of goes, it's good craftsmanship. Uh, very good craftsmanship. Uh, and he kind of is like looking almost maybe warily, but he's definitely paying a lot of attention to the make of the ship as he goes up to the gangplank, carefully coding uh, this chest with him. Um, uh, and you see uh, Sira says to you, Gala, she says, well, uh, yes, uh, he had, um, he was having some trouble uh, finding the ship, or at least wanted to guide us about to get there. And I was actually um, going to head over as well, as I knew you were departing in the morning. I had something that I wanted to give to you. Oh. Give me a second, guys. Sierra, come with me. Uh, all right. All right. Well, uh, then. She goes with you. Yeah, uh, well, we walk off a bit. But you can see from Gala's face, like, what he's, whatever he's got on there, it's like, this is going to be harsh. But he's got to go through with it. After we're a sufficient amount away, a nice wind comes over, breezes past his hair. I know, Sierra. It was obvious from the very start. But I understand you bring it over him. That Yeah, that fits in with your job duties. It makes a lot of sense. But gift giving? Sierra? I'm... I'm a bit confused. I understand. When you see me, you think, leader, charismatic, bad boy. But, you have yeah, to know. Of, of the three, one yes, of those yes, is accurate. Yes. But you have to know, this is rough for me. I try my best, but I make so many mistakes. And you! You can't think of, you know, what you're thinking of. You're, you're trying to move up in your business. While I'm trying to save the world almost single-handedly. It's just, I don't think our fates align. It's just... I think that you could let it live a far better life that way. Away from me. I'm no good. I could see that you fell for me from the very start. It was obvious on your face. But we're of two different worlds. I thought, maybe. Maybe. But I talked to an old friend of mine, wizened beyond his years. And for something like this to work, I just have to find time, which I do not have. I've got to save the world. So hold on to that gift. This, forget about this. You'll be a far better off without me. And I, you hear a, a glass scatter in his pocket as he begins to fly away. Forget this. Forget me. The Fate Fighters, or the Fate Fighter Z, or apostrophe Fate Fighter Z, are up to asterisk, do things you mean? that. Yes, asterisk. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is. Yeah. Goodbye. It's not Gallet. Or is it? Everyone, gather up the ship. Time for us to go. Uh, do you see... Pull the anchors! Sira? Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna need you <laughs> to make... Uh, let's see. Dexterity uh, saving throw. I need you to make uh, a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, uh, is this the wind? You should, you should also do the win. <laughs> Make him fall. I am amazing at this oh moment. <laughs> On wow. a nat 20 wisdom save? Amazing. You, you watch as you see Sierra. She like grabs like a, a piece of iron out of her pocket, starts doing some hand symbols, and kind of like reaches it up to you, and you feel for a moment your body tense up as if to like stop you from it, like moving. Because she I, seems yeah. like she's like... You can't I'm just too, say that. I'm expect, too much of a free spirit, Sierra. I have no idea. And her hold person spell yeah. fizzles as you completely yeah. resist it. And you're, uh, this uh, you're is better for you in the long run. I know this. Extremely dramatic exit. You see, she looks like gobsmacked like at the rest of your party. Kind of like, like just drops everything she was doing. She goes, 
What the hell? Andra, is pull the anchor. Here? It's time for us to go. Is, has he been... Is he quite all right? I think he took a conversation that we had way differently than I thought it would go. Do you... Did you <laughs> actually have something to give him? Yes. Andros, you really have well, to pull the anchor. This I is not a moment just... to be slow on this. I'll pass it on. I'll pass it on. I... I, you see, your, your crew is just like working at the same pace. They always are. Uh, they're like they're going as fast as they can. I really should have uh, timed this better. Unfurling the sails and like beginning to loosen like yeah. the, the rigging and tying with that that they need to tie. People are scrambling. I'm just gonna start ignoring that area in my sight. Uh, she goes. Um, I think he may have some type of wrong idea about how I perceive him. Uh, she looks up, befuddled, just at, like, the dot in the sky that is Gallant right now, and she says, Don't get me wrong, he's a, he's an attractive-looking young man, but... I have no idea where that came from. Um, should he ever decide to return to, uh, ground, I said, to sea level... We'll I see. Suppose, maybe he will, maybe not. Um... Oh, was I not at the ship yet? <laughs> oh, I thought I was on the ship. I was holding the wheel. No, you're on. You're on the ship. Okay. Uh, I thought you flew into the air. You're holding the wheel now. Well, yeah, you, no, I, I flew ground? into the air away into the ship. I was trying to be like, we're done here. <laughs> ah, okay, 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 we're done here. Um, and she says, "Well, um, should he ever, you know, that appear uh, amenable to com, com rational conversation?" Um, you can give him this. This is really for your whole party. It's nothing special or anything. Just a token of my um, sentiment, I suppose. Um, she, you see, she takes out um, a carved. It's like a wooden dove, like smaller than the palm of your hand. It's like carved uh, out of wood, um, and it's been painted white with like cute little anime eyes. Um, oh. And she blows on it and like spreads its wings and. Flutters, oh, uh, like beautiful. kind of in a circle around your head, and then she says, "Um, it it's not very smart at all. The enchantment isn't really that complicated, but she holds out your hand, um, and uh, as you do so, it lands, uh, uh, on your hand, on your palm, um, and she says, it's a token of peace, um, because I am grateful that that day that we all met." You all, well, you kind of talked us into choosing peace over the alternative, and I don't know what would have happened if this hadn't gone that way. A lot of that had to do with your captain over there, and insane as, or misguided as he might be, I, I owe him a debt of gratitude. So, tell him thank you for me. Pass it on. Well, um, good luck on your next quest. Uh, I'm glad that it seems to pay better than the last one. <laughs> I think they probably all do, but thank you. So, you know, it's often a newbie thing. They always kind of... Hazing, right? Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little lead out the end. You know, undesirable. It's People quit the very exposure. easily. It's exposure. It really, it's more of like an internship type of thing, and after you oh finish God. the first thing, then we can, that you get transitioned into more. Anyway, the ship is beginning to I suddenly to feel very seasick. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, she kind of like steps um, back onto the pier, and she says, um, good luck fighting fate, or whatever it is you're doing now. Take care. Uh, waves at the, at the rest of you as the reaper... <laughs> Uh, begins to, blown by the wind, begins to depart um, from the port at Thalestrom, um and out onto the open sea. You guys are uh, leaving um, Gallon now. Um, the sea uh, uh, around you, it's, like, it's a clear sky. The wind is good, but it's in precisely the direction uh, you need to be heading in. Um, the humming of... of slow shanties in the background of uh, people adjusting sails and working on the rigging, the pitter-patter of Simon's footsteps going from uh, place to place. 
um, making sure that everybody's kind of on top of their game, uh, and then eventually he, right, uh, you can hear him, like, kind of, like, just, like, turning a book, kind of walking around, uh, working on his little, um, magic studies as, as he goes as well. Uh, Suzanne isn't helping, but, you know, she's somewhere. Um, uh, it's peaceful. It's nice. The wind is good. The air smells of salt. The sun is beginning to climb to its highest point. It's warm on your face as the breeze flips past you. It's getting closer to um, fall now. Um, uh, but it's still warm enough to be comfortable. As what is, I guess, what does everybody do on this first day of, of the journey? As we uh, pass as the gate, I would just like yeah. to declare into the wind. I, Galatavate, captain of this vessel, declare this will be a no-issue voyage. The safest voyage in history. Okay. Uh, and as you break the cardinal rule of um, saying things like that, such as what could possibly go wrong, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, the gate above you opens up. Um, uh, you pass through this white breakwater, um, kind of maybe a, a glance up at the soldiers and the Imperial Knights kind of working uh, on the rigging, passing it, uh, kind of pulling on the on the chain to open up the gates. You sail past the breakwater, and slowly the tall twin spires um, of uh, Hailstrom Castle, where the Storm King resides, fades into the middle distance. The winds lose that certain Galenium special touch that it has always had while you were there. You look off towards the horizon, seemingly infinite, knowing that your destination is uh, quite a while away. Smiles on your faces, um, hoping for a safe and pleasant journey. Um, uh, are there any scenes? Uh, we're not gonna like do a separate, you know, we're not gonna role play a whole day for every day of this voyage, but uh, uh, kind of, I would say. Um, somebody roll uh, a d20 for me, uh, kind of encompassing the first three days of this voyage. Kind of breaking it into little chunks. I'll do the first d20. Someone will do the second one. No, the two. Uh, on a 16? Uh, this first day is indeed extremely calm. The skies are clear. It's nice. Um, uh, I think... The areas around the coasts of islands typically are easiest when you're navigating. Um, as long as you're near, if you have a map or you know what a place is and you are near a landmass, you can always find your way because you have that reference point. And as you sail away from Galen, you're able to make easy progress um, for a little bit. Um, are there any scenes anybody really wanted to uh, run in these uh, at all in these first couple of days? On the first couple of days, I'll be fine. Yeah. Anything from anybody else? I don't know about scenes, but I have a couple of things that I would be working on. Um, yeah. This is a, uh, an era, a, a time of downtime for a bit. I first want to continue with Simon on his studies. Absolutely. And gonna... I have a, a question for him also, a specific question. For sure. Um, which is whether he is at all related to Inkwell University. Uh, uh, in Castle. Where would you where would you be happening? You would where would you be having this conversation? I feel like it would be when we're studying, probably in my room. Okay. Um it is well into uh the um kind of late afternoon on the first day of the voyage. Um kind of things have settled down, people are reacclimating them themselves uh to uh, life out on the sea. Uh, Simon, you and Simon are in your room. Take you there. Great. Uh, can I let your hair? I'll just gonna put you guys in your rooms unless you say otherwise. Um, where did Sula go? Oh, Hi. there he is. Um, put you upright. Uh, I do have a Simon, don't I? Where's my boy? Um, I'll drag him on uh, in a second. Um, you ask him that, and I think the moment you say 
Inkwell University. He stops his writing um, or his studies. You can you not, you noticeably see noticeably see him freeze. Uh, and he says, um, <clears throat> uh, "Well, I <laughs> kind of figured this might come up at some point." Um, yeah, that um, I was born in in Castlemont, Inkwell University. Kind of my family's legacy. It's where um, I was born in one of the lecture halls there, actually. Um, my father is, was um, the headmaster there. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry, but. I noticed the similar name, so I was just curious. It came up in a conversation we had on Galen. Yeah, um, nobody on the ship really likes to talk about their lives before the ship very much. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know why I don't like to talk about my stuff from before. And of I think course. Maybe knowing who my father was, maybe it helps you understand why it was so bad that I did what I did. I think I understand. If we had to go there at some point, and I don't know if we will. How would you feel about that? I guess I don't really know. Um, obviously, I um, trust you guys implicitly, and I think you are in charge of the ship, and wherever you guys want to go is where we're going to go. It's Home has a lot of bad memories for me. I think for a lot of people, home tends to have bad memories. I don't know about you. Um, I haven't really heard you express any desire to go back to where you're from, right? No, no, none. <laughs> yeah. Well, some, but things being what they are. That's um. kind of a common theme, right? Like on mm -hmm. amongst people who kind of live their lives at sea, or at least people who travel a lot, there's usually kind of a reason that they're not staying put. Okay. Or um, well, like I said, I I don't um I don't want to bring anything up. It's not actually really relevant to anything. It's just I had a curiosity. Pardon me. No, um. I think sometimes we gotta own up to the stuff that's, you know, in our past. Um, well, and it's good for me to know as well, uh, if I ever go there, I'll know exactly who's asked to kick, so. Well, there isn't really any more asked to kick. True. <laughs> well, I think that my brother would probably be in charge now. Um, maybe him? If you like. He, he kind of like pauses for a moment, looks down, his little hands uh, gripping the, his, uh, the spell book that you got him very tightly in his hands. And he says, I know you kind of have an idea as to why it meant so much to me that you decided to take me on and give me those lessons, but to be honest with you, I tried lessons before. Um, my dad was convinced that I didn't have what it took to uh, do magic properly um, when I was bad at it. I mean, it wasn't really fair. He just knew 
who didn't have to study at all. Neither did my brothers. Nobody in my family ever needed to learn how to do things, and I was the odd one out because I just didn't get it. They were always so confused, and they always said mean things to me because I didn't just get magic or do magic, and I, I think that you teaching me that I can, if I just work really hard at it, uh, has made a really big difference for me, so thank you. You're always most welcome. I enjoy, I enjoy doing this with you, and I consider you a good friend. I'm gonna make you proud one day. I he already up, am. He's like kicking his legs on the bed, and he's like, I'm gonna make up a spell. You can do that, right? Like, eventually? Like, you get right, to like, well, spells, I was telling you about like it, wasn't I? Can... Yeah, yeah, um, uh, well, uh, if I ever get to make up a spell, I'm gonna name it for you. It'll be like, you know, um... I don't think I can handle that. Uh, I Suma's, Suma's big attack, or something. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, it's it's I'm workshopping it. I'm workshopping it. Okay, right, it's that's right, a work right, in right. progress. You you workshop it, okay? I actually am working on one right now. <laughs> so uh, um, we'll see uh, how it goes. And he smiles and says with his um if it ever comes down to us going to Inkwell University, we can I can kinda walk you through what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. Um it's basically a school but it's also its own city because it's so big. Um and they do a lot of Ooh. really advanced magic there. Ooh, that's really tempting. But also, yikes. Wizards are kind of assholes sometimes. Yeah. But... Um, some of them. Not all of them, though. <laughs> Not all of them. Maybe some of them. Um, and he just goes... So this spell, uh, and you guys uh, uh, keep working yeah. on it. Um, he has proficiency uh, in Arcana now and a cantrip. Um, uh, I think it takes a bit longer to really get to that, like, I am a first level. Because uh, even first level, you're supposed to be better, a lot much crazier yeah. than the average person. <laughs> uh, so it's going to take him a little bit of more diligent study. But I think you know that he is a pretty fast learner. Mm. Um, uh, um, yeah. Darn sorcerer family. <laughs> you suck yeah. at magic. Um, and uh, then, what is wrong with you, dude? You can't I do know. magic. God. It's fucking easy. It's, uh, Just do it. What do you need? Books? <laughs> Just get better blood. Exactly. Um, yeah. And then I'm also working on Miela's curse. That's my pet project for this journey. Okay. Cool. Um... Uh, great. Uh, I will say yes, Miss Gala. At some point, we do need to get together, because I forgot, so it would happen like, oh, crap, and then later we all call ourselves together, hey, Suma, that curse thing, what? Oh, yeah. Forgot <laughs> about it. I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. we just skipped over it. <laughs> uh, there was kind of a lot going on. Um... I don't think I told you all this yet, but after we met Aramis, he messaged me, and he told me that there might be a way to mm, not break the curse on the Reaper crew. I don't think. I don't think he was breaking the curse, but um, it sounded like there was a way to perhaps take a small piece of the ship, maybe a a, a, um, a piece of a plank of wood, you know, mm -hmm. necklace-sized, perhaps, uh, and enchant it so that when worn or carried, the individual could, at the very least, leave the ship and be free to live a life. Well, Off. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do we explain yeah. that to them? Like, oh, hey, hold this well, part of the ship. That's no the reason. thing. I'm hundred. I'm not a hundred percent sure that I understand how much they know about their situation. I don't know. If, do they know they're dead? Honestly, yeah. don't know. I don't think they do. I think he said they don't know. Something you do. I'm telling them I think they would, but I think they would understand if they had a piece of the ship. They 
would understand they that know they can't leave they can't leave you know yeah so they would know that it would help them um, yeah, we could stay tell off them. the ship uh suma you would know from what simon said to you that he remembered that he poofed back to the ship and had some understanding mm-hmm. of that you also know that andros knew yeah andros um, for sure knew. so the, he was yeah. like i thought that um uh, like it would work this time because uh, Aramis gave control of the ship over to Gala. Yeah. So they would at least know that it meant they could leave if they wanted to. Which. It's not freedom exactly, but it's a kind of freedom. Um, Definitely an improvement. Yeah. So <clears throat> I do plan to work on it. But let me know if you have any thoughts about it. Uh, if Could anything, we just experiment? Uh, I mean, kind I'm doing of, a lot of run out. Uh, have them run out with a piece of like, a plank wood from the ship, and then see if they still <laughs> permission back I can to the make ship. Some different, uh, I can make some different versions and have people scatter off to different taverns in Toro when we get there. See if, if anyone pops back, if anyone doesn't. Betting? Betting opportunities? They love those. Suma? I know it's hmm? not an easy I don't think it's an easy task with all the curses and how to break them and all that. But if there's a small one you can break, or not small, but I think the most important one to break is uh just for them to know. To remember what because it seems mm-hmm. like they can't think about certain aspects of it. And since they've been alive for so many years, does that bar memories they can make? Or had? Because if they've lived for 200 years, yet they don't think about, oh, I have 200 years worth of memories. That's, uh... I'm just, I don't, Mm -hmm. I just like the idea of of not even knowing that you're stuck here. I'll look into it. Um, excellent you guys have um, that conversation um, the the first day of passage uneventfully um, uh, I guess if, if there's nothing if there's no scene anyone wants to, wants to run uh, we can just uh, keep progressing uh, mm-hmm. through the journey if that's what people want to do um, if there's anything you guys want to do with like you do have two new passengers um, uh, I've, I've decided to not use these extremely complicated rules um, uh, it was a fun exercise to make them though um uh it's just a little bit too complicated um uh yeah does anybody say anything or do anything um with the passengers you have on board now i do want to get to know um olivia a little better just like where she's from and who i think she said she was seeing a friend like who that friend is uh yeah um uh uh yeah, uh, would you be doing this alone? Would you take anybody with you? Or is anybody else curious? I'd love for someone to be with me if anyone wants to come. Vlog's not doing a lot this whole trip. He's just thinking, contemplating alone. Doing yeah. a lot of ruminating. Being a loner. Mm-hmm. I'm, well, yeah, he's I'm always not. a loner. He's not a people person, but still. If, if asked to do things, he might do it, but he's not going out of his way. I think it's probably just like in the dining hall or whatever. Yeah, um, you notice that she rarely ventures below deck, um, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and doesn't seem to uh, ever eat. At least that you've seen. Um, uh, I, however, you kind of, um, I think, uh, maybe in one of the in one of these days in the morning when you wake up and see the sunrise, um, harking back to a time from before. As you're like practicing um, the new forms that you got from your scroll uh, from the village of the wind, um, you're kind of testing those out with your new sword. Kind of feeling the wind whoosh around as you um, practice uh, with your um, with your blade. Um, <clears throat> you see, uh, she is very suddenly kind of just like near. Let me see. Let me uh, find the map list. There it is. Um, uh, I will say, I want to put everybody in the water for now, since you're not in the scene. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no, they Miela's, Miela's swimming somewhere. I'll put her right here. 
um, yeah, I think she was like out on kind of like these this kind of more open part of the ship uh, practicing. I don't have a, a token for her. Um, she kind of just like pops up um, over by the stairs. Um, and she says, um, uh, you have uh, remarkable um, skills. Oh, thank you. These ones are new. Thank you. Um, it seems to uh, fit you uh, very well. Where are you from? A little place called Sunrise Isle. Have you heard of it? Ah, the Sunrise Isle. Yes. Um, uh, I uh, will visit, I think, um, in my um, travels. Um, I have never been. However, I have heard it's very nice there. It's gorgeous. Definitely go if you get the chance. Uh, she, you see, she looks around, um, at the sun rising, at the open ocean. A little fish jumps out the water and like, lands, um, opposite side of a wave. She says, "This entire place is very beautiful. Only bit, the fish swimming in the seas, the water itself, the trees, the people." I wish to see it all before it ends. Before it ends? You referring to the storm? She nods gravely. She says, Oui. It is inevitable that all of this will come to an end. That is simply the way that nature goes. Life Where did was you create it to end? That's true. Where did you find out about that? I have a way of knowing these things. I know a lot of things, actually. Anything interesting? As for the storm, um, specifically, a friend told me about it. Um, and because they told me about it, I decided to travel a bit around the world and see old friends that I haven't not seen in a very long time and say my goodbyes. I thought it only friend? appropriate. What's their name? I have many friends. This one in particular? I'm just curious. The one I'm visiting or the one that told me about this storm? Mm, both. Mm. Well... Um, the one that told me about the storm um, is my friend, but um, she is my mother. Um, however, I like to think of us as friends. She is very quiet and does not speak very often, but when she speaks, she is very purposeful and she knows a lot of things. Um, her name is Eve. I've not seen her in a very long time. Um, she communicated it to me from a very long ways away. Um, I will see her soon, though. She will perhaps be my last stop in my journey. Would your reuniting is everything you hope it to be? I know it would be so. Um, she says, and you, why are you traveling to Pelea? Um, recovering someone very dear to me. And probably other things. Other things. I see a little twinkle in your eye. What is these other things? Well, I think we're probably going to, well, lots of things we're going to see a, 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 a choosing, that's very unique, 500 years, that's a long time. Mm -mm. Yes, 
you know, we're going to see a, a, an oracle from many years ago, very important to the whole storm prophecy. It's very interesting. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, you see she says, yes, I, the choosing has not happened in a very long time, or so I've heard. Um, what an exciting prospect, she says. I think, uh, I have, a, I have a good feeling about it. Do you really? Mm-hmm. Well, I think it is a bit sad that the entire thing... The process for... of the choosing. We. Oui. Mm. It is... Mm. It is likely that... Um, it is likely that... Elea self sees it as an act of power to show you the island and our people that it's she who has control. However, I see it as a sign of pain. It takes pain, I believe, to make someone ask others to prove themselves to them. Or else risk destruction. It's very sad to me. It's an interesting way of looking at it. I think it's telling. I don't know what it says, but I think it's telling that it's happening now, right before the storm. I think. I almost wonder if it might be the final one. Will be. That is why I want to see my friend before. I will not I take many other said, chances. I don't think you said their name. I think you skipped that part. My friend's name. Yeah. Sabine. All names are lovely. They are sounds we use to denote people which we love. Hmm. Uh, you see, she looks up, you know, green hair, uh, bushy and flowing, and her antlers catching the sunlight. Um, and she says, uh, That friend of yours. Um, Which one? The the quiet one. Kayla. Um, uh, we oui, with the uh, gray hair. Mhm. Mm like does a thing like roughly where it lasts like hair is like height would be, um, and she says, uh, "Is he does he often hide this way? I have not seen him very often above the ship. Above Zek, I mean." Uh, he's almost, he's almost never out in the open. I think it's partly just habit at this point. Yeah, that is a shame. He reminds me of someone. Um, stares off into the middle distance. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, anyway, I do not wish to take you away from your... Oh, no, it's, very, it's lovely uh, to speak with you, right? <laughs> sword play? Of course, and any time I know I've seen you occasionally when I come up to, um, you know, see the sunrise. It, it's always nice to have company, so don't be a stranger. I'm a stranger to no one. Um, and she, uh, kind of you hear that she just kind of walks off. Like, uh, you see in one corner of the ship, she has set up a little like, um. A couple, there's like a couple of pots that are like overflowing with uh, <laughs> like <laughs> uh, like crops and like fruit and stuff just like growing out of it. Um, and she starts picking them. This is like all she eats. This is the first she, like you realize the reason why she didn't ever eat the pork and stuff is that she just makes her own like fruit and eats it herself. Um, uh, and yeah, Olivia um, walks away. Um, great. Um, uh, I think I have something I actually want to do that night. 
to that school? Yeah. What would you like to do? I'd like to knock on a -Lox's door. a -Lox. Hell yeah. A door? The a, a -Lox's door. a -Lox. Oh, there's no S. It's a -Lox. It's a -Lox. It would just be a -Lox. Yeah. Knock, knock. You uh, find the door. You find the door a locked, but it does open. I hated that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Is it cool if I come in? Uh, no, uh, sure, yeah. yeah. Hey, buddy, yeah, yeah, I, I was just, you know, uh, as captain, you have a lot of t free time just to think, just moving the ship and whatnot. And I was thinking, like, sure. a cool disguise for you. Is it cool if, like, I just, you know, <laughs> try it out real quick? I, absolutely. Okay. Let's, let's figure out a nice disguise, yeah. Uh, uh, Alright, um. Oh, wow, that's so, so big. What? Who's that? My eyes. What? Give me a second, A-Lox. There's someone on the ship. How do you know we're here in my room? <laughs> I can smell this. Oh, okay. Is that is that a captain thing? Is it from the hat? Oh, you don't have the hat anymore. It's yeah, captain I, sense. Yeah, That's no. Olivia now. I just got a oh. smell. Okay, never mind. It's just a rabbit. Nothing weird. Oh. Yeah. No, that is kind of... What? <laughs> a rabbit? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, Anyways, to the skies. So I just start, like, uh, for, like, a good hour-ish, just start messing with his hair. And, uh... You know, just like moving some things a little bit, but it's not that much. And then I'm like, "All right, I think I got the like the gist of it. Tell me what you think." And I, uh, I bring a mirror up, and it's uh just brown hair. I'm like, what do you think? You like it? Yes, actually. I mean, last time you messed with my hair, it got a little complicated with the uh the whole disguise thing and balding. But I think I like this one, yeah. All right. Do you think it's a good, good type of brown, or do, or were you thinking more of a deep brown? Yeah, maybe a little darker. We can do darker. We can do darker. By the way, he, he you can tell he fully knows what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You go with uh. You want me to get rid of it, or do you want to just hold on to it just in case, like just in case we need a um, disguise? Well, it, we're still a few days out, so I'd be surprised if we needed a disguise. Hey, anything's happening on anything. Maybe I it. could, uh, maybe I could go trick, uh, you know. Yeah. One of the crew mates. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, you know, never you, coming. yeah, yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. What, what, what's a, what's a good like newbie, oh, I was, newbie type? Like, no, we gotta change the outfit. I was, I was, I was kidding. I really would rather not. You sure? I bet you could fool someone. Oh wait wait wait! I bring out sunglasses. But it's not the problem. I bring out sunglasses and put them on him. Ah, oh, perfect. I don't even recognize myself. Perfect. I'm confused. It's crazy how we have sunglasses. No, I, 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 I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. All right. But, uh, nah. I'll, I'll I'll keep the color for now, but we don't yeah. have to make this a regular thing. I've oh, yeah. come to terms with my predicament. Hey man, you can always change things. Yeah, no, it seems like if death isn't really, like, something that can be stopped, I mean, like, anything's sort of malleable if you think about it. Like, death's supposed right. to, death sort of supposed to be the big thing, but if you can just sort of say no to that, you can sort of change a lot. At least that's how mm -hmm. I choose to view it at this point. I suppose, although I don't know if I like... The thought? Yeah, that's not exactly comforting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The world is made of Play-Doh, friend. All right, well, I'm sort of out of hair coloring now, so that sucks, but uh, talk to you later. Oh, I'll definitely save it then. <laughs> all right, and that's all I wanted to do. Back to my journal. Um, that same night, uh, Ruby, you you hear a heavy knock on your door. Like a heavy rap it. Okay. Okay. Uh, come in, come in. All right. You see the door open, and you see a uh, better brass hand kind of open the door, but kind of like makes eye contact with you before stepping in. Um, kind of like to confirm. Giant... He doesn't anymore. It seems to be. Uh, yeah. So you guys are, are like housing him like in one of the lower floors. Um, uh, uh, he's kind of like taking up a a like one of the beds in like kind of like one of your other sailors or kind of like you know. Um, sleeping elsewhere. Uh, he's kind of taking up one of those, and uh, Olivia, you don't really have to house, because she's, like, doing her, like, nature 
thing uh, above deck. Um, <clears throat> he, uh, he says, um, uh, have a, uh, well, I have a little bit of ale uh, from the homeland, if you would like to share a drink. I, there aren't, don't, don't seem to be a ton of dwarves in your uh, little party, just you, so you want to share a drink? What the heck? Sure. Well, all righty. Um, you see he steps in, uh, kind of has his little pack, and you see that it's not the biggest pack in the world, um, but he's still Is it dedicated. A six pack? A... <laughs> um, uh, he pu- his little like, you know, bag, uh, he pu- he pulls out like it's out, you know, huge like a handle it's like dwarf and ale. Um, uh, uh, the kind that you've definitely seen, it's it's pretty like popular around um uh kind of like the island of Pelea, kind of like a popular brand. Um, you see, he uh, pours out a couple of mugs for both of you. Um, takes a glass. He says, it's the ones beside us, it's the ones below us, it's the one above us. You will always guide us. And he toasts and drinks. And he says, um, you're from the island, aren't you, Pelea? Yeah, I, you could, uh, you could surmise that. You see, he says, how do you feel about uh, heading home? Hmm, if I could walk off the ship right now, I would. I didn't need to be here. This is the last place I'd be. Yeah, I feel the same way, to be honest. I've been avoiding it for a while, but uh, I think the thing about the island is that no matter how hard you try to leave, something about it pulls you back one way or another. Uh, I hate that idea. Yeah, it's the fucking worst, ain't it? Uh, you see, he says, Well, I don't know about you, but I'm leaving as soon as, as soon as what we're doing is done. Our quest, or dropping you off, picking up Suma's kid from daycare, I don't know, whatever. As soon as that's done, we are getting off land. I wish I could say the same. Hmm. What's keeping you there? Duty, I suppose. Obligation. Feels like that's kind of, um, you know, the cornerstone upon which our society is founded on. It's just a series of obligations passed down from generation to generation and never ends. Well, are they going to take you back? Your clan? Brass hands, good miners, but not all of them are too smart. Not all of them can fight like me. They're going to need me to defend their chosen. Um, I don't know if I'm going to survive the uh, the passage to Volca. Lots of, uh, lots of monsters about deeper into the tunnels. The ones that we didn't mind ourselves, the natural ones, the ones, the ancient ones, they teem with the things that uh, are unnatural. And if our chosen dies before they get to the center, before they get to the trial of the flame, well, it's bad, uh, as you know, it's bad news for the whole clan. It's an automatic fail. Yeah. If it ain't too much of a personal question, uh, which clan are you from? You see, he takes the mug. It's a, bit more. a very personal question. Uh, well, we seem to be stuck at sea with one another for quite a long time, so thought it might be, you know, something to do, I suppose. It's what people do on ships, they gossip. Well, this is the first night, so, you know, let's just save that for maybe the next week or something of our journey. Can I guess? So why did you leave? 
why did I leave? Well, and what's in the chest? <laughs> and why are the meetings after you? A couple of different questions being lobbied at once for somebody who won't even answer one. I left because my great grandfather died in a mine mid swing of old age and exhaustion. My grandfather buried him and then went out the same way. My father buried him. It's a long line of people dying with picks in their hands and repeating things I wanted to be not a part of it. I wanted to uh, end the procession, if you know what I mean. So I'm tired of it. It's an interesting thing, the concept of duty. They say, you know, duty is love given an outlet. I, uh, I wholeheartedly disagree. That's one question answered. Take My turn guess. to guess. All right. So it kind of looks you up and down. It says, you've got an attitude, clearly. Um, but I feel like I can't be one of the you fancy ones. find me very ones. charming. I have a very high charisma score, just so you know. A what now? Uh, <laughs> you see, I don't think Blackstone, definitely not. Not Goldborn. Steelborn. You from Farrah? That's that's the first guess. I know I'm about to let up. <laughs> um... Yes. <laughs> no. You had to think a lot about that, but I'll take your word for it. All right, shoot. Even a no is giving away too much information. That's why. All right, process of elimination. Well, I only get three guesses, so uh, more clans than three. But um, you see, she goes, ask her what's in the chest. Uh, let me answer two of your questions, if you don't mind. How beautiful. The reason the maidens want me so nice. is I got something that they stole. <laughs> they stole it back. I was uh, aboard the ship for a little <laughs> bit. Toad. <laughs> uh, it's called a king toad. Never heard of oh it. Uh, Time for another one shot. Mm. Uh, um, Is no, it a uh, toadette? Ah. Uh, oh no, Bowsette. Oh no. Um, oh no. No, no not no. those words. In that order. Um, he says, uh, Maidens are a pretty uh, respected pirate crew. Uh, date back all the way to the age of pirates. They're one of the, uh, one of the six. Um, uh, I happened to fall in uh, with that crew um, after I got shipwrecked. Uh, they picked me up, I joined for a while, and I learned that they had stolen something that was very valuable um, and important to me. I stole it back from them, and that's why they want me. So, what's in it? You ever wonder why our clan is called the Brass Hands? Mm, not really. You're all just big and early, so. Well, uh, Tora mostly exports some stones, and, uh, Founder of our clan, uh, we just call him Brass Hand now, and because his original last name is Lost in Time, he, in an effort to work longer, harder, mine more stones, replaced his physical hand, augmented it uh, with one man of brass, so that he would never feel the exhaustion in his hand. Not away. Legend says that that hand was enchanted, gave him extra strength. 
these are very valuable uh, artifacts. Uh, one day, the hand was stolen uh, from Torah. Our clan leaders right under our noses, and it happened to be uh, <clears throat> along the same time as uh, a certain pirate ship was de docked at our port. Fate would have it. Years and years later, I got picked up by the same crew. It felt like, you know, fate was calling to me. Maybe Pelea was calling to me. I knew I had to get it back. Huh. I feel like you would like someone on this ship. He's really into prosthetics. so I personally don't have prosthetics. I don't know if I would ever get one unless I needed one, but... Uh... A buddy of mine, someone I knew from way, way back, uh, has some prosthetics, I think. Uh, he was living out in Lagan, I think, last time I checked. Other dwarf. Oh! Yeah. What's his name? Lauren. His name's Lauren. Lauren, <laughs> don't just assume things. Not all dwarves know each other. Come on. Okay, he's on Lagan, and he had prosthetics. Come on. Any that's possible anyway. Is his name Warren? Uh yeah, Warren Oddhammer. Uh and he says, Yeah, you you've met him? <laughs> yeah, he actually um helped repair the ship. Wow. What are the odds of that? <laughs> uh you see he starts laughing to himself. My fucking ashes. Uh he shakes his head uh, and he says, Well, I don't know how much you believe in fate, but I do. There's probably a reason I got put on this ship and not any of the other ones. There's probably a reason why choosing happened now. There's probably a reason why it's all beginning to fit together. I can't see it now, but I feel like something's coming. I don't know exactly what, but I think it's going to be good. Thanks for the chat. You're definitely coming. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna head Thanks back to my the... quarters. Yeah. He see he stands up, kind of gets his bottle, corks it, and on his way out, he looks back. So, Ron Angel. Okay, I did, I did say I would be honest, so yes. He nods to himself. It's a hidden talent of mine. I didn't find people from the other clan. You got that look about you. Some Thank of the you. other dwarves from the other places, they, uh, they grow up in their riches. You know, the Goldborn, the Blackstones. People who really know what the island's about the ones that had to tough it out. Copper is good people. Not too far from Torah. Maybe maybe I know some of your people, you know, so am I. <laughs> you take care now. Good night. At that uh great. Uh, uh so that's a little conversation with Beta. Um He knows more about Ruby than we do currently. You're so <laughs> <He frustrating. does. laughs> Um, uh, uh, we're teasing this out slowly. Okay? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously. We're, you know, we're kind of... Wow, um, imagine not sharing your backstory by now. Uh, that's so crazy. That's like, crazy. crazy. Ever, everyone else has really but that? you. That's literally so crazy. Um, yeah, uh, uh... <laughs> well, I mean, uh, none of that was canon until now. She just made it all up. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I actually had... Most of it done, I just like, I don't know, is your backstory ever done? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine's been done actually since episode one. I haven't changed it. <laughs> okay, but you you can always add things to it. You know? Not, not set. I no, haven't added anything. <laughs> I had a form of it finished, okay? Like, it's a fun. while ago? Right, Kano? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you had a lot of stuff in um, uh, from a long time ago. Braun Anvil was set in place as your clan's name from the very beginning. Um, yes. 
thank you. Yeah. Uh, great. Um, so uh, uh, that night passes um, uh, relatively peacefully. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Alok, you, when you go to sleep, no matter what your dream is, in the corners of your vision, you always see a little small hooded figure running about, although she doesn't seem to be particularly invested in, like, being there when you turn around to look at her. Um, Suma, as the waves rock you back and forth in your trance, um, you're so close to home. You're so close to Zisha. <laughs> Feels. A lot of feelings. A lot of feelings happening, Linda. You know? I wonder what you're gonna do with that dead body. Oh, um, yeah, I do ask her to save it for me. <laughs> I know that's weird. Yeah, she's <laughs> doing her best to save that dead body for you. Just telling uh, you know, all I'm sorts only... of lies to the coroners, <laughs> like, I need to check out one more thing. Uh, she's, she's pretty high up there in status. <laughs> she's the highest, the highest status wise, so she's good. Um... Uh, I don't think you've told anybody about the dead body, right? Oh, like, the no. context of that at all? No, I don't really I wasn't know sure. how to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. This is a slow burn to find out Suma's actually super evil, guys. I'm super excited. The murderer. I'm a necromancer, actually. I need to <laughs> further my research. I'm really down for that. That's true. I don't know your subclass yet, so... <laughs> oh, no, you're Blade Singer. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. I forgot. Uh, we, I... You, we, we cut back to a flashback <laughs> of, like... Ruby going, but I want to, and Alok going, you can't raise dead, and Suma back and going, yes, <laughs> raise it. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I like the uh, thought process. I love that. Hurt your feelings, you know you want them raised. Uh, anyway, Alok has um, a powerful <laughs> artifact. Mm. Uh, uh, Ruby, yours is just nightmares of being home. Um, uh, and Galit. Periodically, you dream of Captain Greenhide's ship, but Alisaris is not there anymore. Calypso does not speak to you. She doesn't say anything tauntingly, doesn't say anything to mess with you. It's almost as if this empty ship, and the reason why it's empty is her way of communicating a message. Oof. Um, the next day comes. Uh, next couple of days pass without much issue. Um, Can I until... be doing stuff? Yeah, what are you doing? What stuff are you doing? I want to, I don't know if this is normal for Perk City, but I want to try out all of my spells. Like, Ooh. I just want to burn spell slots and, like, oh boy. try things. Come on, let's roll that encounter today. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah Use all your spells and let's fight. Uh, fuck yeah. Um, uh, Not yeah. necessarily fight. It could be like... Yeah, so the first, the first few yeah. days... The first few days are very calm. Nothing yeah. much happens. What are the um, <clears throat> uh, you try out like your new your new water walk spell yes. um, that you have now. You have water walking. Uh, you, you cast that. Are there any ones in particular that you're like, hey guys, check this shit out. I'm drive. I'm just like moving the shit. Okay. So. <laughs> you gotta you gotta walk on the water, I'm, keeping I'm, up. I'm not the <laughs> helm. Yeah, like, are we? Should we slow? We're Actually, the, the, the wind's picking up. Ruby, the wind's picking up. Yeah, I run. Wait, do I have to run like to catch up? Is my rolling thing? You're good. Uh, it, it's fine. A lock to use the <laughs> fishing rod. The wind to then run faster. She is a dwarf, you know, less movement than yeah, us. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And since I'm using gusts of wind on the sails, we're definitely outpacing her now. Are you sure you don't that's need mean. to test it? With my that's so awful. Uh, she just switches places with whoever isn't of ah! her earrings. <laughs> and now but then we don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the Wait, gallon, the one. Gallon has a back, I think. I think, I think well, it's Gallon. Right. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's such a good use. Oh, well. It's the best use of the earrings. I love right, it. Who's, the, Can you who's swim? the new captain? <laughs> I'm definitely the new captain because I'm first mate. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just me. Um, 
Great. Uh, you definitely you spent some time testing out all your spells, um, uh, kind of just flexing um, <clears throat> uh, in front of everybody, uh, all the stuff, you cool stuff you can do. Don't destroy the um, ship with yeah. the lightning, by the way. Like, that's The mast is a massive lightning yeah. rod, I assume. Basically. Yeah, I won't, won't do anything crazy, but I might try to help out Suma with the, like, try to figure out how to, like, kind of partially remove the curse from the crewmates, so then, like, I might put, like, the spell magic on, like, one of the planks of wood or, like, remove curse, and then, like, maybe we could see... Destroy the ship piece by piece. I see where you're going. Yeah, <clears throat> I think that you and, uh, Liz is not here, um, so maybe we need to resolve this in a little bit, but I think you guys do, mm-hmm. uh, kind of work together to figure out ways of, like, weakening the curse or, like, um, being able to tap into it in such a way that you guys can kind of alter, um... <clears throat> Uh, uh, kind of what's going on there to make it more um, uh, viable. Ooh, are you casting that? Oh, I have no <laughs> idea. I just clicked on it by accident. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Liz, you just you just came back. Um, uh, Ruby is going to be helping Suma with. I guess you can say what you were you were saying. So sorry. Oh, I was gonna try to see if casting different spells on like the planks of wood necklaces. Ooh like, would work, so we could try, like, yeah. remove curse on one, dispel magic on another one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would the love one. the help with some science assistant. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Get out of here, Simon. And, uh, Suma, um, you can give me an arcana check. Uh, Ruby, you can give me um, a religion check. Um, <clears throat> except, here's the thing. I'm gonna change this because I think it's dumb the way that it is currently. Uh, from now on, when I ask you to make a religion check concerning stuff with your own magic or about Priscilla, uh, use your wisdom modifier, not your intelligence modifier. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Oh. I, I don't okay. like that. I think it's, right. I think it makes sense. Intelligence is for knowing stuff about other people's yeah. religions, but when you are yourself a devotee of this religion, like you have direct connection with a god, <laughs> it should be your wisdom stat, in my opinion. Um, so if I'm like, okay. if I'm asking you stuff about Terminus or or even Pelea, I'd probably say intelligence, but if it's like Priscilla stuff, it, it'd be... Uh, uh, I think it's even more than that. <laughs> Portent that, maybe? Yeah, you can port in that. I will um, say. I guess I should can... roll for the new day. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Or you could uh, just use the one you got. Not right? twenty. Bye bye. I got the same thing. Oh, well, <laughs> we, got, we both got the same thing. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you guys didn't use oh it yet. Oh my god! <laughs> no, we haven't used it yet. You're right. right. The hey Chino, thanks for just letting them choose what they had before, man. That was really yeah. Nice what the hell? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's. Fucking insane! Yeah, you port really that crazy. to a guys, to we're twenty seven. Guys, remember our name. Like, come on, we're supposed to be fighting it. We all both right? put our port rolls on this roll. <laughs> that is so fucking crazy! Wow. That's um, yeah. Statistically, uh, crazy. Um, uh, Ruby, I think that would actually be. Oh, do do clerics not get automatically proficient in proficiency in religion? You can choose two out of like a set amount of things usually, so you could. Oh, got it. You know. Okay. Cool. I put so, history and persuasion, I think. Got it. So with that, com- uh, combining your efforts. I pick history. Never mind. Uh, I, I call for Jones. history rolls all the time. I do call for history rolls, although your intelligence, I, I don't think, is super. I always try to fish for history, so I'm for history. Um, great. You guys work together, and I think um, uh, so. Something that was called a uh, call for before is that like. In order to kind of like counteract some of these like divine curses or um, magical effects that are divine in nature, um, it does require a time. You know, the energy of another god can be instrumental in doing so. And I think Suma, with that you know nat twenty uh, arcana, you are able to kind of like guide this process along, and you are able to create uh, one um, <clears throat> little. I want to say you carve it into a shape with your uh, uh, like you guys have tools, like maybe just a dagger carving. What do you want this look to look like? You take like a, a a part of the ship. You guys carve it into a specific shape that you guys like. Ruby, would you like to choose the shape? Um, More of a carver than me. You made the figurehead. The, si- the siren slash skeleton. I don't know what it looks. 
lurk anymore because it didn't score well on that one. Um, we could do a skull for the Grim Reaper. I don't know if that's bad though. Maybe we could do wings because they're set mm. free. Oh yeah. Uh, or a skull with wings. <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that. Let's do that. That sounds okay. cool. Uh, you guys are able to carve that up, um, and you guys do create. You see that the wood changes from this like darker color to like it kind of like lightens a little bit. And it has, like, aspects of, like, um, the very, like, like, geometric patterns of Suma's magic, as well as this, like, like crackling uh, lightning energy of, like, Priscilla's magic, like, running through it. And you are able to craft one of these necklaces. Um, you don't know how effective it'll be, necessarily, but you do feel like it may have done the trick somehow. Um, uh, I think the effectiveness will have to be tested. You feel like you did a good job, but you don't know in the context of how good a job could possibly be done. But you feel like this is about as good as it's gonna get, probably. Um, and you are you are able to craft that. You're unable to test it at the moment because everybody you're on the open seas. Yeah. But you're right. able to do that. Yeah. Um, Outside. To throw it. Hey. Right. Awesome. We're so good. <clears throat> MVP. Um, Employees of the month. Cool. Uh, uh, as the next three days of the journey um, come to pass, I would like to, uh, anyone is free to roll another uh, d20. I won't be. Yay! Oh, yeah. Twenty. Well, speaking of employee of the month, I haven't done my job since the first time we were sailing. <laughs> it's in the crow's nest. You know what, Ruby? I'll let oh, you. Yeah. I'll let you. I'll let you steer the ship for a bit. Actually, you know, you don't actually know anything about steering. As a vice oh, yeah. captain, that's been pretty important. I think yeah, it's here. Fine. My turn. We're in the so. open seas. You can't hit anything. What happened? Yeah. I'm I'm so good at so many things naturally that this is probably just going to be another yeah. one of them. Mm -hmm. The only thing you could hit is like a shore or a beach, but there hasn't been any in a while. On Finally, the, see land. Uh, Obi uh, yelling. On that six. Um. Uh. Come nighttime. Who's steering the ship? You're giving the helm to Ruby? Actually, since I gave it to her in the day, I might be the one on it answering the night. <laughs> okay. Uh, where where would everybody else be on the ship around this time? What time? You said night? Uh, night, maybe like 9 p.m. Post dinner. My room. Uh, my room. Yeah. yeah my room. Uh, cool and Dalit, would you still be helming? Uh, at the helm, or do you think you would? Uh... Uh, if it's past like food time, like I, I'm not entirely me, Thailand. I don't entirely. I'm pretty sure not someone doesn't require to be at the helm at all times, correct? Like that's not required. I feel like you should. I feel like I think it's in shifts catch... actually. Oh, uh, it's like a shift yeah. thing. Well, then okay, then definitely I'd be the one at helm because I gave Ruby the one to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, because you never know when there's gonna be like an, a small island small just yeah, randomly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. or an iceberg or something. You know what I mean? Um, exactly. No one's that ever. Happened? No one will ever hit an iceberg. They're too massive. You'll so see everybody's, it everybody's off map at the moment except Gallet. Um, <clears throat> Gallet, give me a perception check. Oh, I'm great. With disadvantage at in the darkness of night unless you are using your newly acquired drift globe. Um, that wouldn't help. I am using it, but it. It's only just the light cantrip if you're not using the daylight. Ah, okay. So it's probably not helping. Yeah, <clears throat> not helping too much. Perception. I would say with with yeah, yeah, yeah disadvantage yeah. though. It's okay. When has that ever gone wrong? Ooh. Ah, <laughs> oh, the stars are so pretty tonight. You don't even see the stars. You oh, can't see zero? them. Where are the stars? Did you black out. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like... <laughs> Whoa. He, he has his eyes closed again. the whole time. Oh. oh my god, you can never leave Gallant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I accidentally drank some seawater and it's going awry. Uh, oh my god. On that, you um, uh, uh, are just steering kind of absent mindedly, and then uh, you feel like the pit, like you kind of hear the uh, hooves um, on go up the stairs next to you. And like you, you, you watch as Olivia kind of like sits, like stands next to you, 
uh, and Sushi says, um, <clears throat> uh, you are the captain, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, Galata bought a captain. Yeah. And you have been on um, the sea for a very long time? Uh, you know, a bit. I'm, I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty good at this stuff at this point. Oui, I understand. So, um, that thing over there, is that normal? Uh, she points, and you see a little bit of, like, uh, like, light shines out of her hand, almost like a spotlight, and cuts through the darkness. <clears throat> and in the distance, as, the, as the, uh, the ship is rocking in the dark, like the inky blackness of night, the sky is kind of overcast. You can't really see the moon or many of the stars. The light hits something that is floating above the, the water. It's an extremely large... It's hard to tell because it's still kind of far far away, but you can tell it's like decently very pretty big. Um, it looks almost humanoid. Um, <clears throat> like you definitely uh see like it has like the rough like sh shape of a of like a humanoid thing, but, like a head and like a thing that kind of comes from like this, like spikes on it. It's like something just like approaching, floating over the water, like coming close to the ship. It's maybe like a hundred feet away. Okay, I'm gonna at, immediately at start. At this point. Yeah, I'm gonna immediately start turning the boat and uh, tell Fields okay. to uh, mm -hmm. go out and scout wherever the heck it is. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, got it. Um, Fields <laughs> zips over at the thing. Uh, do, you, do you just talk to her or do you tap into her vision? Uh, I mean, as soon as, like, if I can, like, actually turn the boat well enough that I obviously not ahead of on track, then yes, I'll. I'll switch to her vision. Okay, I think you just like hard yank it, and then you yeah, keep yeah, your yeah. hand <laughs> yanked, uh, um, and you <laughs> zoom into Fields' line of sight, and you see it's a giant metallic, uh, uh like humanoid-looking thing. It's like metal with like a metal face, or like a metal woman's face with like spikes uh, coming out of her head. And, uh, like, a big, like, silhouette of, like, uh, a woman, like, almost as if it was wearing a very long cloak. Uh, give me a, a, a history check. It's Lady Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> history. Oh, I don't have disadvantage. Uh, oh, I yeah. Just, yeah On a 19 history check. This is a torture device that was used extensively in the Age of Pirates. Um, it is called an Iron Maiden. How big is it? Though? And uh, it's very big. It's far larger. It would fit multiple people um, easily. Like three or four people could probably fit inside of this thing. That's weird. Um, uh, probably even more than that. It looks to be about uh, like ten feet wide, almost like a gigantic version of an of an Iron Maiden. It's like, and you see through Fields' eyes, as the ship turns, it makes a beeline um, towards the ship. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, dang it, what's the, what's the goat's, what's the new girl? Uh, Olivia. Olivia, ring the bell! Looks like we got company. What do we feel the yeah. bird from? Uh, you definitely all feel. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> God did not do it yeah. very smoothly and <laughs> held his hand there. So it's like it's like you're in a car texting and then the driver pulls a hard Yui and you're like, whoa! <laughs> uh, <laughs> immediately everyone we're just uh, uh, with the wave. Uh, anybody who was sleeping or focusing on something, Alok, you're probably writing in your journal. You feel yeah. your hand go Shh, across the page, like fucking up what you were writing. Um, <clears throat> Sue and Ruby as well, you definitely feel that. Um, um uh, do you guys rise to the top level? Yes. Yeah? Uh, <clears throat> uh can I, uh, uh, yeah. Just ask, uh, also, uh, feels to just real quickly from, like, you know, somewhat of a distance, but go into the water to get a better feel of it, because she already has a fly movement speed, so instead yeah. of me giving <clears throat> up my familiar with movement speed, I can also give him a swim speed, so that would apply to her. You're having her swim in the water. Yes, at, at a distance, uh, but like I gotta, I gotta know. This thing is, is this thing is not in the water. This thing is like hovering oh, in the air. Oh, hovering over the water. Yeah. 
That's why you can see it oh. from the ship. Because right. if it was on, if it was at sea level, okay. I think it would be a bit too high to see it. Um, uh, it's like above, like okay, yeah, no, okay. floating very ominously. Then I'll just call her back. Uh, feel to come back. <laughs> you, she, uh, uh, poofs back to you. Um, uh, uh, Olivia go uh, doesn't really know what to do, and you see she takes a deep breath and then lets out what sounds like a very large, loud, and distinct bird call. Um, <clears throat> like, like, uh, uh, and I think everybody kind of like is like, that's not a bird that you hear at sea, uh, and people start um coming up. Um, <clears throat> you see, uh, uh. Andros comes up. Andros, Suzanne, I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss him up here. There's your boy Andros. Uh, there's your boy Suzanne. Um, uh, Tink's not really a fighter, so he's not gonna come up. Uh, the vibe in the ship is definitely you're like probably at this point yelling down. Uh, Suma, Ruby, uh, and Alok, you make it up there. You probably communicated like, uh, this is not normal, or at least. <laughs> exactly. There's definitely a, a sense of like the way that Gallup said it, the way the ship lurch of like there might be something bad going on. Um, you guys uh, get up onto the deck. What do you discuss with each other as you as you guys get up there? There's an Iron Maiden coming. I don't understand why there's a floating Iron Maiden. Noma, were you dreaming at the helm? Or uh, you... No, unless I do. Can I make a history check? <laughs> yeah, you can make a history check as well. <clears throat> Elliot, we told you not to drink and drive. Come on. Uh, I can. Mm, sounds <laughs> ominous. You sound bad. Yeah, it's an Iron Maiden oh, floating ominously. Yeah. I would like to jump in on that. Okay. Well, Ruby, you know what that there. shit is. Uh, Iron Maidens were used to torture, uh, uh, kill pirates. Uh, there, there are these like basically cages that open up and they have spikes on the inside and people are shut inside of them. And you know, especially in the age of pirates, they were used, and they, when they captured, it was, this was usually reserved for uh, captains and first mates, and the crews were uh, forced to watch when the, like, the, the authorities of, like, maybe you'd be going in an Imperial Knight, so, like, you've been pillaging in Palestrom's waters, we're gonna make a display out of you in front of your crew, have them spread the word amongst other sailors to know not to fuck with us. This was used towards that, at, the, at the tail end of the age of pirates, when, like, kind of the navies of the, um, other different islands were starting to grow in power and starting to be able to resist the force of these pirate crews. Um, so wait, is it just uh, floating? It is sea, floating or is it... in the air, and it is getting seemingly getting faster. It's almost as if it's like magnetically attracted to the ship. But it's floating in the air. Oh, right, because yeah. right, it's above water, right, right, okay. Yeah, Gal, use that. Yeah. The darkness lights up very briefly, and you see as this thing... Uh, finally, um, it gets very, it's, it's like pretty close to the ship now. So if anybody wants to prepare anything or do anything like that, uh, you may do so at this current moment. Halt! How, how big Wait, is it? I'm in peace! Uh, it is roughly, uh, 10 feet wide and, uh, 20 feet tall. Big mofo, okay. Yeah. We wish to negotiate! It's huge. <clears throat> we have things you can have. Just float uh, away. Will... Uh, one second. Ow. Uh, um. Take him. Is something of this. This big. Uh, roughly. Hmm. And Interesting. It's approaching. And it's approaching at this angle. I wonder why you had a, a token uh -oh. prepared for that. It's weird. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, remember when someone was like, dude, the seas are not dangerous enough. It's not. <laughs> you know, when I had that in mind, I wasn't thinking of floating Iron Maid. I'm going to be honest, that one didn't come across. It's it's just a tour guide. Yeah. I don't get it. This way. Hey, yeah. things, are more, things are more cool when they're not random. Random. Yeah. It's usually operated by a, by a person, though, right? Or is it... Operated it's just, just floating. It I, think it's, I think it's like a mine, like a mine. It's like a trap laid out by someone. That's my thought. I'm just gonna shout, Tinker, man the cannons. Uh, yeah, you're gonna shoot this thing. 
if we can. Uh, I, I will say it's higher than your cannons are. Um, uh, uh, but there is two cannons um, on on deck. Um, <clears throat> uh, would you be ordering like maybe Andros or something to like move it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Andros, from, Andros, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We've never used a cannon before, anyways, and this is pure metal, so might as well. Yeah. Um, Andros is gonna make an athletics check. Uh, that's not an advantage. He would just have a fifteen. Uh, on a fifteen, he definitely is able to like drag, like quickly reposition. Cause hands are a bitch to move. Oh yeah. Um, uh, they're not supposed to like turn like you're yeah. like you're freaking no scoping. Um, uh, you he, he has to, like pull it out. Uh, aims it at the maiden, but it's moving too quickly. So like he can attempt to uh, hit it. Um, trying to decide what kind of a roll that would be. Just give it uh, a shot. It's something that is moving with a cannon. Hmm. <laughs> He's got this. Just lead the shot. Yeah, lead it. It's like Pac Man. Yeah, I guess yeah, it's Pac-Man. it's going in a very what? predictable. Yeah. So here's the thing. You are able to estimate, Gallet, uh, with the daylight spell. Everyone is able to estimate. You are at the helm still currently. I'm going to need you to make um, uh, either an intelligence check or a sleight of hand check to either be able to pre-plan, like calculate in your mind exactly what angle you need to take to line up the shot without Andros having to swing the cannon around. Um, uh, uh, anybody can give the help action. Probably maybe Suma can give the help action. Go scope him. Yes, I will. Go scope him. Calculations. With that sleight of hand, uh, Suma, uh, Suma, give me an intelligence check as well. Sure. 360. Why not? Why, why, letter soul? Let's go. Come on, Suma. Intelligence? You're so smart. Uh, on a 15, uh, Suma, you're immediately like, uh, hard left. Uh, 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 55 degrees or something like that, uh, and Gal, you're able to very quickly like maneuver uh, the wheel to curve it around. Um, Andros gets a clear shot. Doesn't mean it's a guaranteed hit. Um, um uh, uh, nope. On a cannon. No, it's anything. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Let's go, Andros. What? <laughs> Andros. 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 Are you talking shit about Andros? Andros is useful. Yeah. Andros, why do you? Andros, are you groggy? What's going on? Yeah. Oh, did I press a button? No, <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, this is gonna have uh, a plus six to hit. Oh, he's got um, this. So let's he's got see. This. Yeah. Oh, on a twenty-four, he oh. misses. Uh, loads up the cannon, and this thing. It. It, yes, we're uh, done, guys. Yeah. Uh, the Ooh. cannon. You, you guys see just the light of the, fl- the flash as the uh, the explosion takes place inside <laughs> the cannon. Whips out. It hits the maiden dead on and like sh- shifts it out of um its like intended flight path. Um. Uh. You see a heavy, heavy dent. Uh. In its side. Um. Uh. Like it's a like, caved in on one side. And you guys watch as it is knocked out of its arc. It like freezes and then turns and then like an automaton automaton just keeps moving towards the ship. Load uh, another it looks, cannon! It looks kind of fucked up though. Um, uh, as you guys scramble um, to load up another cannonball, uh, you see the maiden hovers over the deck right about Uh-oh. here. And then it seems like almost like depower, like then land on the ship with a thud, and like you guys feel the ship kind of tilt forward a little bit under its weight. Jesus, you that's also so, that's you so hear the uh the cannonball clunk, uh clunk off of its side and hit like the deck like start rolling uh around. Uh, do you guys stay at that distance, or do you come closer? I'm good giving a minute or two from safety. Cool. Uh, you guys look out at this maiden, and you watch. Gallet, you look, you kind of like peer over at it from a very, keeping your distance. Yeah. You look it in the eyes, 
and you see the mouth that is carved in metal upon it begins to glow. And it looks like uh, um, uh, a, wa- a thick lipped, like red lipstick mouth superimposed on it curls out into a big grin and begins speaking. And you hear the mouth like begin to talk and you hear a voice. Um, and the voice says, Hi, Red. Due to the nature of our ongoing friendship, I would assume that you had no ill will in taking the dwarf aboard your ship. However, he does own something that belongs to me and my crew, and I'd really like both him and it back. You know the drill. Place him into the maiden with the orb, and everything will be just fine. If you don't, well, you know what the consequences are of that. Got it? Okay. Okay. See you at the next council if you better show up. Ta-ta! And then the, the, the mouth makes a very exaggerated, like, like kissy sound at the end. And you watch the like, curls into, like, a flash of, like, red magic that puffs out at the end. And that bit of, like, pink smoke. And the maiden stands there. And it opens, like, Okay. Uh, it, it seems like a little labored on the side where it was dented by the cannon. You get the sense that that cannon shot not, like damaged it a good amount, like its structural integrity. So that part doesn't open fully. It opens up on one part, and you do see like heavy spikes jutting out from the inside. All right, everyone, just keep make sure everything's safe here. Ruby, can you come with me to get him? I do like you know like a I got something. Like Ruby, can you? All right. Yeah. We go. Yeah. We yeah. Got, we got we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. Anyways, yeah, yeah. So we're good. We're, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We'll get him. And uh, I'll start walking downstairs, and I'll be like, Ruby. Wait, can they see us? Can it see us? Is that? Why I I assume. Doing? I just assume. Okay. Okay. okay uh, I'll... you go ahead and make, I guess, an insight check on this metal thing. Uh, insight, or I guess, Arcana, maybe. Mm-hmm. Anybody can. Anybody can make a. Oh. Uh, on a nat 20 insight, Ruby, you look at this thing, and it does not seem to possess a will of its own. Um, you get the sense that there is no soul to this thing. It is a, a contraption or magical construct that is operating on a set of laws or a set of instructions, such as um, f- uh, approach this ship. Land on it, deliver this message via. There's a certain spell that was attached to the way that it spoke to you. Um, after the spell is done, open up. If this happens, this happens. If that, so you get the sense that this is like this is it's a machine essentially. It has no sentience, um, and so you're not sure um, if watching is really a thing you can do. At least the way it is currently. Yes, Gallop. Oh, just wondering. Okay, so I could see the bottom of it and everything. Uh, if let's say Beta was to be inside of it, would his yeah. uh feet immediately be pierced uh he could potentially step around the spikes okay so it's not a thing that would automatically pierce him immediately like he, uh, it you, could feasibly you don't necessarily know what will happen if he goes in there yeah um uh uh from from just the physical appearance yeah. of it you're a bit far uh but from the physical appearance of it he's a he's a dwarf so he's pretty small yeah. he can and this is a big thing there would be places for him to like stand in it you get the sense that he's not necessarily um like big enough to to have to be impaled if it doesn't if he can just walk around it okay um yeah um, then i'll quickly go downstairs all right ruby you're with me. This is the plan. Uh, might as well get out of earshot for sure. Uh, let's go to Beta. We're gonna talk to him. We're gonna tell him to scream once, so we can get him. And we're gonna just not use- I'm gonna make an illusion, and we're gonna get, like, a bag of hay or ale or apples, and we're just gonna get the approximate weight, put it in there, and just see if it works. They might be stupid. They might be stupid. Uh... How was it? It's the best we got. You got anything better? Do I? Would I know how intelligent it is? Like, if it would know what creature is inside of it? Uh, this is definitely a pretty magical thing. It's enchanted in a lot of different ways. Um, uh, I would say it's probably hard to tell what it, the exact details of that enchantment 
both from this distance and also just in general. Um, perhaps it knows specifically who Beta is and will only do the thing it's supposed to do if he's in it. Uh, uh, for ha uh, if you don't leave him out. Um, it, it would be hard to say, I think. Also, did we see where it came from? Like, So we didn't see the ship that it, ca it came from, but they presumably can see us. Um, you don't necessarily know that. In the I same mean, way that, like, uh, Gala can send a familiar anywhere. You can you can instruct a magical construct to go anywhere to find anyone if if you know uh, with a certain set of instructions. Um, well, why would they? Why would the maidens have this Iron Maiden just aimlessly out at sea unless they knew for a fact that Beta was like on the sea right now because of Pop the. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying you don't necessarily know. That's all I'm saying. I I would guess then that they're probably nearby. Um Okay. I think we could try it and if it works we could follow them. Is that is that the plan with our with our ship? Well the my plan was uh we let it go and uh once it's out oh. of sight, use the bag of wind and we just jet. Just jet? Yeah. I mean, we could just do that. Well, no, it's on the ship right now. It's literally on the ship. Well, what what can it do to us? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Can it's it an Iron it? Maiden. Okay. Let's just yeah. give this a shot. Let's see. All right, we, we'll go to Beta. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah, I heard that I uh, felt that fucking swing. Is everything all right? Yeah, an Iron Maiden is here to Sounds pick you up. just bad at sailing. We're going to try to trick it. We're going to try to trick it. What is your approximate weight? You see he immediately pales, and he says, We gotta... Fuck. I, I can't, he, he, like, he, he can't even think right now. Alright, alright, alright. All right. All right. Look at me, look at me right now. <laughs> yeah. Look, you're, calm down, calm down. We can get through this. Let's just try this and see if it works. What is your approximate weight? Uh, approximately, I'm like 150. 150. Oh, that's not bad. That's good. Do you do you know that. anything about the, how the Iron like Maiden works? Or something. Well, the captain of the Maidens is a woman named. Well, I don't actually know what her name is. She kind of just goes by Mama. Um. Oh, that's creepy. Captain Mama. Not the best okay. character. Uh, I. He, you can see him, like, panic internally, and he says, There's not a whole lot of things I'm afraid of. She is one of them. And those things are another. They don't quit doing what they're supposed to do, what they were set out to do, unless they're destroyed completely. You can't reason with them. You can't outrun them. You can't escape them. If they know their target, they'll come for you, and you gotta destroy them completely. So does that idea work? Can, can you, I mean, how does it know that you're in there or not? Is that what she wanted? She wanted me in one of those yeah, yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of just putting an illusion on a bag of apples. I was like, hey. Look, magic's not exactly my forte, but from what I gathered on my time on the ship, it knows. All right then, new plan, Ruby. <laughs> okay. How many shadow stones you got? I have fourteen of them. How many are you willing to lose? Mm, well, Beta, this is all coming. I expect to be compensated for each and every shadow stone that I use to save your sorry ass. You think you're gonna- you're gonna- Listen, if you save my life, I owe you whatever you want. Works for me. Yeah, so you- you have- you have 14 shadow stones. I will personally you. convert to Clan Brown Anvil if that is even a thing that is I possible. I don't. That's- that's the furthest thing that I- 
have in my mind, okay? Well, all right. All right, how about... Look, however I can help, whatever I need to do, I'll do my best. But I'm afraid if I get close to that thing, it'll swallow me. Yeah. I've seen it do it before. And it doesn't fly away, it vanishes. Mm. Hmm. All right, Hi, Ryan. Uh, I'm not going to do this, so... My, my internet just went down. Mm. Well, then let's just go with the apple idea, put illusion on it, put some shadow stones in it, and just see how it goes. How else are we going to get in there? Yeah. Hmm. I could always... <laughs> try to get in there. I'm a dwarf. We don't know if this thing is racist. You know what I mean? Ruby, you make like you point holes out in my plan, and then you come up with the more dangerous plan. Yeah, but it'll tell us more. You know, by being in it. I'm just saying, the idea of a woman walking around calling herself Mama just just gives me the, this. This just tells me they're evil. Yeah, mother, they're definitely yeah. evil. Mothers are inherently evil. evil. Yes, I agree. Exactly. We're on the same page. We're on the same page. Well, yeah. All right, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, uh, Beta, I'm gonna yeah. need like a lock of your hair and like a, like a slice of your blood, just in case. You see, he immediately grabs some of his beard hair. All right. Wow. All right. Oh, he's got blood on it. Shit. Okay, and. <laughs> I go find a, you know, like a little bag of apples, approximately how much he weighs. I put the stuff in there, put the shadow stones in there, cast my um uh, silent image on it, and I and I just get up about like halfway to the stairs, and then I like urge Beta to come over and just just scream once, just scream once right now. Uh, he just he's gonna he, you you put you yeah. approach it though you approach it and you put the bag in yeah 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 I put the bag uh, in and immediately snap back yeah you come up to it it doesn't like snap shut or yeah, anything yeah. it just like kind of but you feel like a presence in this thing mm -hmm. as you set the bag down and quickly retreat Meta screams nothing happens it stays with its uh, uh, uh doors open mm -hmm. um. Brian, sad. I I'm now the dungeon master. Sit. All right, he's back. Mean. Hey, he's back. <laughs> um, uh, cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the so shadow stones, the shadow stones implicitly need to be to be impacted upon. Yeah. Uh, to detonate. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. Is that what you were going to do? Uh, I was hoping. Um... I was hoping for it, it to accept it first and just see if it does. Uh, it if does it's not do that. All right then, okay. Ruby. I'm going to need if... you to do something. What? What if we just? Could we get Beta in like a one of those small, just like ships and just bag of wind him out of here? Because if it senses that he's no longer on, or Reaper, maybe. And All right. we'll just tell it, like, hey, he escaped. He heard you coming. Oh, uh, okay, wait, wait. Okay, so it accepted the Shatter Stone stuff, but it did not leave because it knows something is wrong. Yes. Uh, it uh, has the door closed. The doors are open. Oh, okay. Uh, if there's a sufficient amount of space between me and everyone else, I assume Ruby's not right by me. Uh, no. Uh, I mean, you guys, you're on the map. Okay. Well then, I you will... guys can put yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. where you guys want to be. All right, I put uh, it. It's in staying it. put right here. Oh, uh, so mm -hmm. oh, that's not that's not correct though. Well, I'm oh, I must have left better somewhere else. I just uh 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 uh. Ah! Uh, uh, I'm just gonna poof right, away and activate it. <clears throat> You're gonna thunder step away from it to like cause damage to the stones inside. Yeah, to the thing in the stones and just explosive it. You uh, what do you? Poof off to. Uh, let's see. It's how big is the distance? Ninety feet. So let's let's just see what's the full distance of ninety feet. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, Ruby, how many shadow stones do you use? Let's say four or five. 
Only four or five? I thought we had the 14. Okay, okay. I just don't know how many we'll need. Okay, you know what? Fine. We'll do... Just do the full 14. We'll do seven. Okay, perfect. Full 14? I mean, hey. Seven? I feel like that's overkill. Okay. I feel like okay. that's overkill. Okay. Let's do seven. Okay. Seven. Yeah. Exactly okay. half. Okay. Baker's dozen, but half of them. Could so who's repairing work. the ship after this? <laughs> I'm not. Uh... <laughs> yes. Just come I'm back. If we can get back there. Uh, seven different con saves, all at disadvantage. What about eight? I, I do. I count. Oh, and the thunder step. Yes. Thank you. Uh, okay. Do I count? <laughs> I, I want to count. Mm, I could thunder... also do thunder step, but then if I didn't get a warning, maybe I would. That's up to you. Nah, it's okay. By the way, while he's looking at this, I just want to like let you guys know, visualize in your head, what I thought was for Shadow Step for me is like I bring up my ring and I blow into it like a bubble, and a big bubble encases me, and then shatters and I poop away. Mm. But the the shattering is like uh, it's the air wave, like the air being affected by just tons of whales screaming, whales screaming. Wow. It's, <laughs> it's horrif it's horrifying. Okay, I'm gonna roll. This is the first save. This save is for Thunder Step. Uh, that is going to save barely. Uh, this next one, I think shatter, I shatter, shatter, shatter. I'm just gonna roll one save because it's gonna come with one big explosion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shatter does have uh, uh things that are made of inorganic um material such as metal at disadvantage on the save. So it's gonna get disadvantage on this one. Uh, if you like, you can also roll portent. Um, to see if you can impose, uh, I think this is the same day as the nat 20 and the 5, so if Alok, you want this thing to, uh, fail Shatter, I don't I know what your, 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 what's your, um, what's your uh, spell save DC, uh, Viv, Uh, it is, I think, 14? Yes. So 14. Uh, 5 will not do it. Um, so we're just gonna hope that this is a roll roll. That's a nat 20, but we don't have to count that. Uh, the lower of these rolls is still a 24. So it's going to take half damage um, from all of these things. This is a very large thing made out of, like, dense metal, um, but it's still going to take... Shatter is 3d8, right? Uh, let me check. Yeah, so 3d8 thunder damage. It's going to take 21d8. Okay. We could use the 14. I, well, you know, I'm uh, gonna see. Okay. Fifty damage from the shatter, uh, and from the thunder step. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, I already did. Gallop. I already did. It's oh, where is it? Oh, nineteen. So half that is gonna be nine. Uh, so it's gonna take fifty nine uh, total damage from everything you guys just threw at it. Um, and then I'll prepare uh, some more shatter stones in case it yeah. it still survives. Um, it's probably yeah. fine. Uh, and uh, oh, and I feel like because I, I wasn't here with the planning thing going on, uh, I would have held an attack uh, from uh, my hidden position. Cool. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna that's fire cool. at it as well. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, shoot at it. It's metal. There's no way arrows would do any damage. Come on. Oh wait. Oh, okay. How far away am I? Oh, you're pretty far. Okay. Dash. Be the wind. Well, can I move and all that on this as well? Uh, if you had time to prepare an action, I think that you, there was a lot of time where people spent like walking around, like setting stuff okay. up. They went, but they went down into like uh where Beta was staying, like to prepare this entire thing. Okay, then I could have like hid behind this fucking pillar thing. All right, sorry, I, uh, I feel that I wasn't here for the planning. Uh, advantage, I'm gonna say advantage, it's standing still, it cannot perceive you, so you would technically have sneak attack, I think. Um, if you're hitting a thing that's standing still, it's very big. Well, sneak attack, you get sneak attack if it... And you're hidden, so if, they can't perceive you if, as well. If I, uh, have advantage, it's just that. It's just advantage, but yeah. Uh, oh. Um, so this is what happens. 
You all set up this elaborate plan simultaneously. You see, Gallet, you make eye contact with Alok, who lifts his bow and prep. Sumar, are you going to do anything in this moment? Um, yeah. I'm going to be moving forward. I don't know how, how far I could have moved, um, but maybe to, like, behind this whatever crate this is. Um, I don't cast fly on myself. <laughs> Float into the air, showing that the captain is not the only person who can do that. Um, <laughs> she stole that from me. Uh, uh, you go up into the air. Um, Gal, you look over at a lock. A lock has this thing ready. Ruby, you have like uh, prepared all these shatter stones. You have some more in your hand. Uh, Gal, mm -hmm. understepped away from it, and that shock wave. Gallop poofs away a mile away. On the sound of the when you hear that sound, it like immediately boom, let loose the arrow. The, the shockwave hits the shatter stones. This thing like, like immediately so many fucking explosions happen inside of this thing. Uh in the dust, in the rubble, like after the smoke kind of clears, Ruby, you still have your shatter stones in your hand. You look at this thing like um the the one the the door that was like blown uh, hit with the cannon like that side is like blown off completely it is like drooping over like this um like crumpled it's like dented the metal is all dented on the inside just like holes inside of it everywhere there's one particular pierced through a uh, hole where Elok's arrow like ethereal like bolt <laughs> carved uh right through it its head is like tilted like this and you see the the mouth appears again. And you see it says, Oh, Aramis, I really had hoped you'd be able to settle this easy way, but it seems like you just like to make everybody else's life harder, don't you? Okay, well, might not take you too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, it's like, it might not take you too long to break this thing. But I'm calling a scourge upon your ship. <laughs> Toodles! Uh, and you toss more shatter stones? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say this thing's uh, save has decreased because it's like inter structural integrity has been compromised so much. It's only gonna get plus three now because you fucked it up so badly. And it still has disadvantage. That fails uh, off rip. Um, how many are you throwing? Am I just doing all, all of them? I mean, it's, it's up, up to you. you. It's up to you. This thing looks pretty fucked up already. Yeah, you I, guys, like, we might be able to destroy it down it. as is. It's I like, think... you know what I mean? On its last hinges, basically. Well, you could probably just thunderbolt it or something. I don't Let's know. just kick it while it's down. Let's just yeah. go bully it. Because I feel like I could just use and, a spell slot. Yeah, just I could use burning hands on it. You got um, shatter, right? Like, you, you yourself have shatter. I, I have shatter, but I didn't prepare it Oh, uh, so you don't have shatter. I do have Call Lightning. And then it has I seven shatters. Have... Yeah. I only got those yeah. fucking stones out of you. Hell yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I didn't think you were going were gonna to do this, but this is much more cool than uh, what I had envisioned in in initially. You can just lightning it. I mean, metal hates lightning, as we all know. Uh, I will say yeah. that you had prepped your action to throw the stones. If you were going to do a different action, uh, we're going to rule initiative. But, like, if you want to... Uh, we're still going to... I mean, depending on... I would say you can't throw seven stones at the same time anyway. Uh, you could right. throw probably a... You can only throw one as an action, I will say. Kind of like as an attack you're throwing something. Oh, it's like okay. one thing. You are good with that. Okay, then. Then I'll... I'll save it. Uh, you'll save it? And be ready for Okay. Everybody, very briefly for me, uh, roll initiative just so we can, uh, uh, oh, let me pull up the turn tracker, though, real quick. Oh, God. Wait, wait. Don't do it yet. Sorry. Okay. Now go. Now go. God. Some of us listen. It, if you had the initiative from the last combat... We don't see them. Oh, I don't. I don't anymore. Uh, this mm. thing. Um. Uh, 
13, even with the minus 5. Uh, it's going to go up here. Let's zoom over here. Maybe hmm, over here. Good. We're slow. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Yeah. It's like kind of minus 5 to its initiative. Um, you see after Are, the mouth... Um, Andros the... and Suzanne part of it, too? Uh, yeah, I think Andros and Suzanne probably stayed as far back as, like, A-lock. Um, uh, like, to the sides of it, not wanting to get super involved. Because, like, you guys are about to do a bunch of explosions. Like, I think you communicated that plan. Um, I I'll, I'll roll for them. I'll roll for them. Sure. Also, not to assume things, is Olivia yeah. a fighter? <laughs> It doesn't seem prepped to do any fighting right now. She doesn't look as if she's about to fight. Um, Olivia, crazy, well, crazy produce... that... Come on, that surely, bird surely she can produce fling. <laughs> Fireball. At the very least. Such a shitty spell. Oh no! Fireball. Uh, yeah, I'm just bad. Suzanne is actually produce flame is bad. I, I think produce flame is better than fireball though. I'm gonna add that for Andros. Okay. Andros sure. got yeah, you. You're right, actually. Yeah. You can only do okay. Fireball a few amount of times. Produce Flame In the entire infinite. crew, Andros yeah, is the only one feet. who moves before this thing. Andros and, uh, is He actually does not Let's have go. enough. No, he couldn't get there even if he wanted to. <laughs> um, so he is going to... I guess he's, he's going to dash. Uh, 30. It looks cool. He's going to dash over here, just kind of like uh, by Ruby. Uh, and that's his turn. Uh, it's the Maiden's turn. Uh, you see uh, this ginormous thing kind of like <laughs> writes itself up. And uh, the, the remaining door, which had been kind of like caved in slightly by all the explosions, planks open. And the spikes inside <laughs> start shooting out. Uh, uh, who is within range here? Um, hmm, yep, yep, uh, that's too far, that's too far. Assuming you're in the air, how far up in the air would you say you are? Um, let me check the fucking speed. Um, 60, uh, so I probably would have been 60 up. 60 up? All the way. I wouldn't recommend doing Pythagorean theorem. I would just uh, do the highest range. number. So uh, it's going to uh, it's going to hit Andros and and Ruby only. Um, cool. Uh, first one uh, that hits Andros for sure. Uh, next one at Ruby uh, doesn't hit. I'm pretty sure. Uh, next one at Ruby again. Uh, that is going to hit. Um, so, uh, Andros takes, uh, 14 damage. Oh, he's fine. Ruby takes 18 damage. That's fine. Uh, gotta remind myself what level Andros is at. Uh, okay. Andros is alive. He's fine. He's yeah. fine. You see, uh, a spike <clears throat> rushes out of Andros, like, Immediately impales him, uh, uh, like, like in his arm. Ruby, uh, uh, the spike comes out. The first one narrowly misses your head, and the next one crashes into like your chest, uh, the, the plate of your your chest plate, uh, like caving in a little, a little bit, and, like, uh, knocking the wind out of you very briefly. Uh, but you both are still fine. Um, this thing is not gonna move. It's gonna stay put. Uh, that's gonna be uh Suzanne's turn. Uh. So let's go, Suzanne, MVP. Oh, you know my girl is MVP. doing it all. You know she's level three now. Okay? Yeah, Can we talk I know. About that? Uh, <laughs> Time to show off that other th level three stuff. Got the extra sneak attack. Shoots the short bow and it bing, dinks off of the armor. Yeah. Uh, off the metal. Use your cunning uh, action. Uh, actually, she would have she would have advantage. I would say. Uh, this thing is too damaged to do any of the cool stuff it can do. Um, that was your smart play? Nope. Um, yeah, that's nothing. what I expected. Yeah. Okay. Suma, you're 60 feet up in the air. Okay. Uh, start spinning, doing a little blade song here. Bonus action. And then 
Um, got my new sword, my cool, cool sword uh, that I'm not going to use. <laughs> um, okay, 60 feet. How many is That's that? That's within okay. fireball range. I Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay, so my plan is to go directly above it and uh, sort of like angle down so that I can get within 15 feet of its head. Heart. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Burning Hands on it. Ooh, cast Burning Hands. You, yes. you at, uh, remind me, is that, is that a save? That is a, a dex save, I believe, and I'm casting a second level. Second level? You know, this thing is not dexterous. Obviously, what? I think you might just hit it a lot. Suma, you're aiming down uh, at the ship. It's like, no. negative two. No, oh, it uh, only goes for fifteen feet. It's just it that, won't touch the ship. Damage. Okay, roll it's that damage. Where it won't. <laughs> okay, let's see. Second level. Does it have uh, a zero dex? That's. Uh yeah. Nice. It's nice. It can't move. It can't move. <laughs> uh, sixteen damage. You. <laughs> Uh, this thing, like, part of- the heat is so intense, and it's just standing still, that, like, part of it, like, it melts a little bit from the shoulder down. This thing is, like, uh, uh, about as close, um, to destroyed as you could- it, it's- it's very close. However, as you- as the, like, the glow from your hands dissipates, you see- you hear, like, a weird- and the spikes on the top of its head- uh, takes a legendary reaction and then uh, shoots these like little needles at you um, uh, from the top of its head. Uh, that is going to be uh, not going to hit you though. You are so you are in the air. Uh, you see the like uh, uh, you like the fan. You just like like the the wind curves around the needles and like they spiral off into different directions. Um, uh, Ruby. It is your move now. Uh, this thing looks pretty dinged up. Um, uh. Okay. I'm going to go behind it since presumably it can't move to face me. Yeah. I'm guessing. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to do something not super destructive to the ship, right? Right. Mark? I'm just going to do a spiritual weapon. I'm just to try to get gear out of it. Okay. One more moment. Won't be that attack roll. Spiritual weapon. Yeah, it's your strong. Eldritch Blast. Did you see it? Oh, sorry, I was trying to switch the music. Uh, oh, you're good, you're good. 18. Um, uh, you swing out with the spiritual weapon, uh, and you find a place in its now very fucked up, melted, Cannonball exploded, shatter stone, uh, bork blasted apart, um, interior, uh, uh, dinks it, um, uh, roll damage. Let's see. Is your weapon still a slingshot, by the way? Or like a rubber band? <laughs> no, in this case, uh, it's probably like a freaking, like, axe. It's a battle axe. Okay, it's a battle axe. Uh, on, and is it just 1d8? Okay. No! Uh, you, uh, chunk, uh, it, it looks it's like, 2d8. 2d8. Did it go uh, it only, it only rolled 1d8. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, according to okay. the, uh, roll. So I was gonna the... cast it. Okay, it's, uh, it, it's only 1d8. I, I tried to cast it at third level though. So oh, you did third. Okay. Just, well, then it is. Two. Just roll another d8. Just roll another d8. You might finish it off now. <laughs> okay. Uh, on a okay, good. on a three, the, that last bit of boom, extra force 
<laughs> uh, severs the last of its like the loose hinges and it <laughs> uh, clatters to the ground. Uh, and uh, yeah. you see like the metal of it starts like almost like fading, like sparking and like melting away into nothingness as like some kind of enchantment is being lifted off of it and as the metal like melts it forms into this like weird black sludge um that like rests on the deck of the ship and suddenly forms up above the ship and you just see like the this black sludge just form into a big x over the ship before turning into smoke and vanishing uh, the maiden has been destroyed can by I? the consequences of... Yeah. This seems like something I may have heard of once before. Can I just make some kind of history arcana check? Definitely give me a history that... check with advantage. Yeah, because that seems like... I don't know. That seems like a thing. History. Advantage. Eh. Uh, on a 12? Kind of spooky. Yeah. Kind of spooky. Um, must be. But seems kind of seems like a piratey thing. Yeah, she's definitely referencing some kind of thing that like Aramis would have known about. Um, she seemed to think that she didn't know that he gave up the ship, right? So it, it yeah. seemed like, uh, for her, mm-hmm. she's talking to Aramis, who's ostensibly would be on the ship and is doing this because uh, maybe she doesn't necessarily know what's going on. Um, uh, this may be attached to some kind of like weird piratey code, pirate code thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, she had mentioned a see you at the next council, whatever that means. Um, uh, and, uh, that's all you know about that. Uh, she did mention, um, uh, I'm calling a scourge on you, but you don't necessarily know what a scourge is at this point in time. Perhaps next session, we'll get the chance to talk to some of your crewmates about it if they've heard anything. Or perhaps Beta, who spent time aboard, uh, uh, with the natives. Um, uh, that is the end of this session. A quick little encounter that... Uh, I was originally, if this was going to be a fight, I was going to save it for next session, but since you guys, you know, found a smart way to, like, do a ton of damage to it uh, before the the combat really started, uh, we got to sneak it in. Uh, So, hell yeah. Um, uh, That is that. Um, uh, This was fun. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. Um, Thank you. Yo, sick job, Ruby. These maidens are nothing. They're cheap. They're trash. We have nothing to fear. Hey, listen. It was a group effort. Group effort. Suma. Team Huddle. Good yeah, job. Gallant. Yeah, Yeah. Hey, Locke, Gallant. I saw you hit an arrow, right? There was an arrow in there. I oh. think so. I think. Okay, yeah. We'll count that. Yeah, yeah. We all helped um, out. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, though... Gallad, even with that 12 history, I think somebody else, a couple people had good history checks earlier, so I'm just going to put this in there. A long time ago, Orn Onhammer gave you a list of ships that were considered to be legendary pirate ships. Oh shit, was the Maiden on there? God damn it. One of them was the Maiden. I didn't check that. Oh, so we're talking to a lady ship. Ugh. (laughs) Aren't they all? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you could say that. If you would like um, a reminder on that list. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold I think on. I have it, I have it, I have it right here. Yeah, I have it. Oh no, I don't have all of them. I, I think there should be more, right? Did I misspell Maiden so I can't find it? Oh, okay, oh, the Gale, the Leviathan, six. the Shroud, the Viper, the Maiden. I thought there were right? seven. Uh, feels like there should be, right? Maybe there is. Uh, there mm. you go. Lost You've time. had your first, uh, one of your your first run-ins with one of the crews of these legendary pirate ships. Who would have thought? Maybe uh, you'll run into the actual ship at some point, and that might be a fun one if you ever meet uh, the woman who calls herself Mama. Um, she's pirate evil. Council sounds I cool missed too. that. What the what? <laughs> I really can't wait to meet you guys. I really can't. Uh, she called herself Mama when I was disconnected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's uh, Mama. Beta well, said her that she that's she only calls herself Mama. Uh, Sick. Boy. Uh, cool. There you go. Um, had to get some pirate intrigue in there. A little bit of an encounter. Let's um, become pirate this, kings. 
go. This is not the end of the sea encounters, but I think that this is kind of like an interlude. I plan to, my concept is finishing this kind of travel arc by next session. Um, uh, so if there are scenes you want to run interpersonally or with people on the ship, uh, think about what you want to do uh, uh, with that ahead of time so that we can get into it. Otherwise, it'll be a lot of like, and then this happened on oh. this day on the seas. The okay. sea be a harsh mistress. Whatever. Yar ha ha fiddle dee dee. Yo ho ho. Yo. I still haven't had call to like use a legit like yeah. pirate accent. Um, uh, uh, so I can't wait if you guys end up. Well, you like... had the chance with mama, but you know, you made a mama. <laughs> I made her mama. Yo that's ho more, That's ho. more interesting to me. <laughs> Oh, it's interesting. Uh, That's one word. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have to walk the plank. Sorry, sweetheart. Uh, yeah, she's kind of creepy. Um, you uh, know, can't wait to kill. She gives me vibes of. Uh, do you know who Glenn is anyway? Um. Uh. Uh. Yes, it's the Carol Channing voice. Okay. Uh, okay. Kind of okay, okay. Okay. Uh, that's my take on the Carol Channing voice. I like it. I, I, I don't like know it. why. I don't know who that is even. I, I don't. Funny I don't do. know. I don't know. I just know Ryan Stiles does it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like it's just funny to me. So yeah. I'm like, I'm stealing. I can do that voice. I'm gonna steal it. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of a lock lore. Yeah. A lore. Um, <laughs> Chino specifically start... got some Ruby lore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I I did that scene so that you guys could all hear a little bit out of character. Oh wow. <laughs> um. Well, it was the oh, first no. time you heard it too, because she just made it up. Yeah. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> also, I wanted uh, I wanted to, to flush out Betta a little more. Like a little better. Just yeah. a dude you're taking to a place. Um. Uh, she's kind of interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Um. We're relatable, uh, man. Thank like... you, Liz, for talking to Olivia because I fuck with Olivia. Oh yeah. Um, you seem very so suspicious. Mysterious. She's so mysterious. I'm not suspicious. I just, she's so, she doesn't answer my questions. I loved it. When you were she's like, just something. But stupid. like, which yeah. person, which friend in particular? You are really avoiding questions with names, girl. <laughs> oh, I'm just Good downplaying the fact. I, I can't tell if she's doing it on purpose or if she just like, doesn't think about people okay okay like well that. okay you gotta think about mm -hmm. like you gotta think about it like this liz kino's doing it on purpose and that's where you need that's to go that's infuriating <laughs> enough that wait i'm sorry what did she do she just that's what like, she didn't do evaded okay. all my questions that i asked. okay yeah <laughs> which is fine she, she gave you some names she, she gave you two names after I pressing i only heard one. Oh no i heard two you're right we really need to vet these we people who come on our ship. Yeah, better. you know what? We might. She gave you fruit, and Gallant said, in character, I trust you implicitly. Yeah, no, I no, 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 <laughs> We did real horrible insights. Yeah, Gallant yeah. trusts her implicitly. Tylen, man, I don't know. But Gallant, he's like, she's yeah. bad. She's yeah. just yeah. mysterious. And that's bad. I don't think she's bad either. I think she's satyr with good. deer antlers. That's weird. Yeah. What is that? Uh, are nice. She knows what a pterodactyl <laughs> sounds like. Scary. Where did she get the fruit? She grows it. She literally told us she grows it. Where did she get the grows? She get the grows. Where she get the grows? Yeah. How, how would a fey creature get such magical fruit? I don't know. And that's what we need to find out. Looks like she can grow things. No, because we don't know I where it comes from. I wanted her to demonstrate... I wanted her to demonstrate right in front of us, but then someone threw out the seed from the fruit they ate, so... You could have had your seed. She grew um, you the have plants in uh, Rel's room. Um, That's true. She, she did do a little action. demo there. She was like, look, I'm a druid. Silva was <laughs> given a fruit. Don't point at me. No, I want to start interacting with that animatron in my room more. Yeah, that is just there. Yeah. Like, a, You have a child that that's just moving. Day. That's always a weird yeah. thing to think about. Yeah, there's so many fucking characters on this goddamn yeah. ship, and then I added more. I was so, I'm like, I wonder <laughs> if at any you... point, if at any point, <laughs> Thailand's gonna be like, so I'm gonna talk to Lula. <laughs> Not yet. 
Not yet. We're gonna wait until we have more people on board. Hold to that. I think we should just we should just yeah. never no, do no, no, it. And then no, final no, no. session. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's gonna <laughs> be like uh, we're all like the red race defeated. What are you gonna do, Gallant? I'm gonna surf the seas. Right, Lula. <laughs> you got it, best friend. <laughs> and we <laughs> set them off. You know. Tyler and I have been having like uh, separate side yeah, sessions yeah. where he's just talking to Lula the whole yeah. time. They have a really Literally good we know going on. Suzanne actually killed Lula. <laughs> She's been dead this Long whole time. Yeah. But no one no one's been checking because we just talked to the one that killed her. No one knows that ship even talks about her. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she's not real. Maybe it's like a statue Maybe or something. Maybe she's a red wraith. She's a guys <laughs> she's that? a body pillow for like for someone. <laughs> she's not Shaz's real. body pillow. Well who's the uh Shaz. who's their roommate? She oh, she's rooming with my boy Nico? Shaz, who's never shown up. Oh, they're Shaz. both not real. I think okay, hear me out, hear me out. That, Shaz was real. That what? section Shaz was real. <laughs> that section of the ship isn't real. See, I know you already told us not who there. Shaz was like a while ago, but I don't remember. I think he yeah. had a very <clears throat> brief role. He taught Alok how to climb ropes. Or tie oh, the, ropes. Or tie the ropes. Or yeah. tie ropes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I haven't done it since. Yeah. It's kinda <laughs> crazy. I'm like they, they can't. I can't have all these people be relevant. It's. it's I will. I will go mad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> these are named individuals for Alok to kill, but not feel bad about. Oh my god! It's fodder. Fodder. It's fodder. No! We were best friends. <laughs> no. I was using you. <laughs> oh no! I needed people. <laughs> this is Alok's like uh uh villain arc <laughs> he's actually just evil this whole time that'd be such an interesting villain to like stab someone and then like bring them back and like someone else just died somewhere else is like that's my evil deed i randomly oh kill people around because why not i guess you just keep killing someone and bringing them back and yeah. killing them like you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, torture yeah. them and you kill other people yeah like it's yeah. actually because if you think about it it's trying to go with the um the uh, balance thing but that's mm -hmm. not how that can work if you just stab one dude enough you can take out the entire human race, possibly. I'll toss it out. Hey, man. Hey, man, I will stop Hey, guys. It. How do you get A-Lock to open up? Yeah, I kill you people. use a key. Huh. No. Huh. Huh. No. no. It's bad. I gotta go. It's wrong. A combination? Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> That's wrong. Something came up. I, I That's just it. wrong. <laughs> Thieves tools. Uh, I'm delirious. <laughs> that did more damage than the freaking maiden. That's psychic damage right That's there. Right. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, he opens uh, up. I... It's unlocked. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> when, uh, when you die, okay. we call it unlocked. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Get it? Your name's locked. Well, what do you call it? What do you call it when Ryan's character is shouting? Caps lock. <laughs> uh, what do you call it when a character characters in the Marvel Universe? a Uh <laughs> That's that's so bad. He's that's so just terrible. It's not even pronouncing it. It's a Loki. It's not Loki. Okay. That's my, my bad. That's where he's from. Loki. Yeah. <laughs> See? It fit. Stupid. Stop. Stop. Don't make that connection. That's actually the smartest one that was said. Uh, it's a cool name though. It was. It's a cool name though. Yeah, it's like yeah. unique. It was cool. It, it was. It sounds it sounds very fantasy, but it doesn't <laughs> Until you ruined it. Fantasy, but it's like not derivative. You know what I mean? Uh, why can't you just do something like Ruby? Like we can make fun of that. That's just so simple. There's nothing there. It's like she came up with it with it on the spot. I mean, we've been picking on it with emerald and all the gems and stuff yeah she is a steven universe there's character. a reason for her name and it's cool yeah because you like gems no, it's, it's dwarves. To... i know it's dwarves when... she's <laughs> actually just a ruby like physically is a ruby if we just don't know <laughs> her heart's a ruby she's a golem she's a sentient gemstone that just projects like a human aura a dwarven aura yeah <laughs> actually just uh... that's why she doesn't it's have high AC. Universe. They just keep missing because it's an illusion. Like, That's why she doesn't want to go back to Pelea. Someone's going to collect it. That's how that works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if she goes back to the mine that she was mined from, oh. uh, uh, it's bad news. You know, she is the gem of the group, so it makes sense. Yeah. Um, actually, the ring 
is like a, a physical ring with an empty gemstone, and ruby is the gemstone that goes in the ring. Wait, she goes in my ring? Um, That's crazy. Uh, the ring. Yeah, my ring. The ring. Yeah. The one ring to rule them all? Yeah, mine. Exactly. The ring? Wait, the ring that goes on the claw. Oh. Yeah. Oh my goodness, the claw is actually <laughs> Did another you dead dog. solve the whole plot? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, campaign's over. We already figured it out. The claw's gonna oh, wield wait, the wolf. Wait, did we get to the thing that you guys were all, like, secretive about last time? <laughs> no! No? Don't worry, we're getting, we're getting there. We're gonna do the thing, babe. Okay. Isn't that right, Chino? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Are we? Hey, look, yeah, right, you, you pointed out, and I didn't think about it, but yeah, he was, he's setting it up. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. setting it up. I'm setting it up. What do you think I'm setting up? I'm setting up so many things. Uh, I know the special, uh, like, pi uh, powers of each of these pirate ships, okay? I like, know what they all do. They're pirate ships. Oh, uh, he caught on to us. Powers. Except, well, actually, no, if they're all people we can talk to, they could all have powers. What's the Slim Reaper's power? Uh, uh, the, the curse. To, the curse. The curse. They're is all it actually magical ships. Uh, uh, yeah. The, oh. the Reaper's power is a crew that never dies in a ship that never sinks. No matter Wait. how many times you destroy the Reaper, it'll come back with all of its crew. Um, so that well, is the power of the Reaper. We die. <laughs> you guys might die, but the ship will be there. It was perfect for Aramis, because um, uh, he would just come back as well with it, um, uh, which is kind of like what made the Reaper like so effective. It's like, no matter how many times you sink it, no matter how many times you execute Aramis, no matter how many times a Navy thinks they've cornered the Reaper and destroyed it, or have blown it up with cannon fire, they'll just show up again later. Um, Did we find out why perhaps... he's an undead dude, by the way? Anyone? Yeah. I don't remember, Aramis? but I was yeah. curious about that, yeah. Did we ever ask? I don't think we did. Um, he like strongly that. implied uh, that it was due to his relationship to the boatman. The oh, boatman, yeah, the boatman. That's what he's um, who was a creature of Wait. Terminus. Yeah. Uh, or believed to be either a part of Terminus or, like, a child or, like, subset or whatever. You know, related to Terminus yeah. of, like... This being that ferries souls to where they go in the afterlife. Yeah, I played Hades, um, Karen. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, my version. Uh, I just didn't want to name drop Karen. Um, no, Karen. Uh, Karen. Karen. Is that what you know? No. Um, oh, it was, it's like Chiron. Or it's no, it's Chiron. Karen. It's Karen. You won't get this. It's Karen. Uh, that's that's Mama's real name, by the way. Oh my, oh my god. god. I don't I think I'd have to leave. Yo, that's forever. sick. Makes sense now. I'm so. super ex out of all the potential villains you are bringing up, I'm most excited for Karen, the mom. Um yeah, she's she's kind of hardcore. <laughs> uh, uh she she's able to if uh it's a DC 18 um uh wisdom save. Um uh, she she directly calls your manager. And uh, if you fail to save, uh, uh, you will become frightened for uh, the rest of your ship. Um, that's rough. It's, uh, it's tough. It's hard. Um, and she still gets whatever she wants. Like, it's still, you know, whatever she wants. But uh, you're also scared. Really calm, too. Yeah, Mama is great. I hate having... Uh, the thing that I... It, this is a weird thing to complain about, but I feel like there's so many plot lines I want to do that I don't know which one I want to do first. Because I'm like, should we like go this entire do this entire maiden's quest line, or should we just kind of get to Pelea? And I'm like, I kind of want to do it. I mean, is it gonna? You lose? can just you can just throw a bunch of threads at us to see which one we follow naturally. Right? Yeah, I mean, you guys are definitely That's gonna crazy. go to Pelea though. I, I mean, uh, what if we don't though? What if we just if we like what if we just throw beta really overboard don't. and then Suma's we... like, you know what, screw my kid, and then we just leave. <laughs> I'm a free I mean, man. <laughs> if we have to take oh care of the maiden God. stuff. I'm gonna go I... to my new husband. Um, yeah. My fiance <laughs> just said I could be a duke, so. Uh, guys, <laughs> the person that You're I love sad. keeps you dead man. bodies. That's sort of creepy, don't you think? No, I'm telling, I'm the one telling her to keep the dead bodies. She's still so doing it. Me. She's complicit in it. I don't judge you because you affect my life. Uma but in his in his two way journal, keep it warm. <laughs> no. Why would you keep the body it's warm? Ew. It's it's oh wait, I just thought, I just thought of a way to bring it up. Great, I'm excited for next time. Hey guys, are you hungry? Wait. Dead bodies. Yes, I. <laughs> I I actually was hungry. A little snacky. 
I had to eat as well later, but um, it's so she's just late. like so um, weird time to bring it up. But the only thing they eat in the underdark is corpses of other sentients. So your oh, did I not is, mention that? I kept this one. We've been what? using gentle repose on it for a while now, so it'll still be good to eat. But um, what? yeah, you're gonna wanna yeah. Why did you have to specify I sentience? I took that spell. Uh, non sentience <laughs> don't work. <laughs> We're gonna turn into Wendigos uh, if we do that. No. Uh, yeah. Um. So this is it's a very good stew. Although I think he went by Stuart more. Um. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I should have saved that. Damn. Oh wait. Oh wait. This is actually a very good. Yeah. Question. Save it for when it actually happens. Can save we... it for like a cannibal villain. What happens <laughs> if we try to eat our crewmate? You wanna. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> um, are you asking for consent first? Because that is the question. It's an order. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, you yep. also become cursed. I'm just kidding. Ha, joke's on you. The more I collect, the stronger I don't I know. Go. I feel like if you did that, you'd need some consequence. I think that's fair. Uh, yeah. You'd die immediately. <laughs> it's the... No, I'd get health issues. Eating people isn't healthy. Especially ghost people. That's that's well, let's worse. not jump to conclusions about eating people, okay? Yeah, I've been doing... I mean, I read about <laughs> it on... Um, you gotta go yeah, for the this... marrow. That's where the fat is. Uh, yeah. Um, This rhythm app is gonna take me a bit to get used to, but not the same. Yeah. I don't know... It's almost the exact same thing, just a different first button. Can I, can I play with, um, like, the same commands, you think? Uh... I mean, most of them are the same, it's just with the exclamation point. Does this work? No, that doesn't work. I, exclamation I hate that point. it's misspelled, by the way. Just want to say that for the record. It also bothers me. Wait, <laughs> Thank Why you. Did you do that? Why did you... I see you. What is this? Oh. Next. You can, you can rename it to make it say the right name. <laughs> really? Can we do that? Yeah, you, can. you can also just rename it to anything if you want. It didn't play it. Like DJ Marina. <laughs> like DJ Roomba. DJ Simon, let's go. DJ Simon. A oh, wicked, 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 wicked. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> that's Simon DJ. Uh, wow, thanks for asking I would love about. To see that. Thanks for asking about <laughs> Simon's tragic backstory. I felt bad as soon as I did it. I like. I, as a player, wanted to know, and then as soon as I asked about it, he was sad. Like, oh, I am God. your most trusted individual. <laughs> I made him sad. Tell me everything bad. It was <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it was weird to hear Simon as like an adult, because I was thinking he was like a child for some reason, and then I'm like, oh, wait, he's you're an adult. He's a complex or no. backstory. He's older than most of us, if not all. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We were, we were making jokes about, like, Elog's old, but, like, Zuma's, like, seven times as old. Zuma's, <laughs> like, 500 years old. Zuma's, yeah, like, 1,000 years old. Oh, like, yeah. 20,000 years old. Zuma was there at the beginning of things. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still like, learning magic. It, man, that's a hard freaking yeah. profession. <laughs> He's only level six. I know. Oh, my God. That would be that's, like, that's always the weird thing about, like, playing old people or, like, elves that are normal age it's like dude they've been around for so long maximum, <laughs> Why am I so weak? maximum procrastination you don't my only understand. excuse is that i was a party boy and i wasn't actually paying attention there it is <laughs> for yeah. a long time yeah. Yeah. But like what about yeah. normal like normal backstories which like oh i was you know a hunter or a fighter for a long time like a hundred years you think you'd be a little bit stronger <laughs> no no yeah, i only I hunted cows it's very non-dangerous uh, or I like the one where you're super powerful, but then like something bad happened to you and you like mm -hmm. suck because you like suck. you know. I was a god. Whatever. It's like at the beginning of the sequel to the game where they have to depower you to have yeah. it make sense that the enemies are like uh, <laughs> yeah, kicking your ass yeah, yeah. at the beginning. I was super strong because of my Metroid suit. Actually, not because of me per se. I don't have it anymore. Actually, I have amne amnesia and also a cold right now. It'll um, wear off by the end of Act Two. I have, I have all, all the diseases stuff. right now, but when I get, but over time, I will lose the diseases and get to my <laughs> original state. Um, actually, this is like a different link. It's just like a reincarnation. It's yeah. all been happening. Also, that was like a different timeline when he had that. So like, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, when, I love that. When are um, we gonna be able to play as Ganondorf or Zelda? 
I want to play as them. In... Let me interest you in a game called Super Smash Brothers. No, I'm just kidding. I was gonna I, say. I've already <laughs> played Ganondorf, and he's fun. Um, we should all uh, play Divinity yay. because I bought it. I always have played, played it. Yet? Yet? I have played it. You like what it? is but... Divinity? It's a it's good like, RPG. It 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 feels pretty much like D and D. It's like you're like a character. You set yourself up, and then you're like you're a character. What? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure. You out can be a person in this game. What the fuck? Um, I'm downloading it right now. Alan, you give it a shot because I feel like I. Is it turn based? Oh, oh, yeah, it's it's. Uh, are you doing it's number actually... two or the first one? I don't it's know which one. Number two. Yeah, number two. Two, two is the better one. The definitive edition. I, I mean, sure. Can't. Why not? I mean, it's a very good game. Uh, so basically, oh, wait, wait, does it? It's a turn-based RPG that is my favorite type of RPG if it's turn-based because it uses the AP system, action point system, which basically, if you want to do anything, it uses a bit mm, of your yeah. action points, and uh, it's, that's a lot better than Baldur's Gate because Baldur's Gate is all real time. But this is, you know, stop, do something, you know, it's, it's better. It's fun combat, the environment is interactable, and lots of times you can accidentally blow things up because of you mix elements. I do that all the yeah. time. Uh, I'm uh, a lizard, yeah. and I, yeah, lizard. I blow fire at things. Yeah, and if there just happens to be, like, acid smoke, you're just screwed. And then I set my companions on fire, even though I'm like, you're not in radius, right? Yeah, it's just that. But they are. Or you ever make fire, and then it hits water, and like, I cannot actually hit them, because fog is in the way now. It's great, Damn. but it goes bad fast. I love so, it. So, if I have this the Switch version, like, is that compatible if you guys uh, are playing on... Let's type in if it has cross -based. Wait, uh, Divinity. Chino, does it work? Chino, it... Chino, I was just confused because no one was molding. <laughs> it didn't no. make sense. It yeah, does, it's just it, out of place. It does not I'm feature crossplay. You'd have to have it on PC. <gasps> Sad. Yeah. Wait, so Can you I... guys, so you have it on PC? Then? I have it on PC. Can I be a bard in this? Uh, I, uh, you, uh, I don't think specifically bardy bard. You, everyone has, <sighs> but everyone does have a. Uh, featured instrument, which is basically your theme song when you do something cool. Can I be a rogue in this? Yes, and there's a whole sneak thing, and you can steal from people. It's great. I have I have two settings. It's just bard and rogue. Bard That's and it. rogue, yeah. Those are two classes are very similar. But I just want. I, wanted... I have two moods: horny and sad. Aww. That's it. <laughs> and when it's together, it's the worst. Uh, yeah. What's horny and sad together? Warlock, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'll play the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're charismatic Aww. and uh, depressed. Yeah. Uh, Tylen, that move with Zero is uh, uh, inspired. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. I was hoping that I'd be able to think of something better, but I was panicking. But, uh, I was I, hey, you guys very... figured out. You, fi well, you guys finally found out when I said, like, oh, uh, Gallant thinks he's up with someone. That is not what I thought was expecting. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I insight checked I and yeah. Chino said, I knew this. I remember that. Wait, it what are we talking about? about? Retrospect, but yeah, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> I think you you do a very good job of like rolling with my like like well, responses I, yeah. to your low checks. Fa failure is fun. The squirrels in this, I like to That's fail. True. What are we um, talking yeah. about? Sira. Sira, and then like how? Oh, that yeah. yeah. He's talking like my friend, my old wise friend told me my, to do this, yeah. so he did not tell you to do that. And Suma's just like, <laughs> and Sira was just like to Suma, like, can you check on him? Like, he did didn't, not didn't you set up the Sira thing? You went there disguised as like someone else. You're like, hey, this he went Gallet. disguised well, yeah. as Suma. I yeah, think, yeah, right? yeah. And then I and I was prodding like, yeah, but like Gallet though, right? Right, Gallet. Oh, right, right. And she was like, he's got Moxie. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it was something a little bit more demeaning. Than you, that. you wingman yourself. Yeah, he has pluck. Yeah, pluck. Pretty he has pluck. Like, yeah, yeah, but other things too, right? Uh, she called you cute. Well, I didn't uh, hear Suma. that. Yeah, I can't see your face. But it's uh, okay. Suma knows. I knew that she thought of more than me than just cute. 
you would just need to hear that because you are utterly yeah. con- you have utter conviction. And, but it, but it's definitely not like, cute. It's definitely like, handsome, strapping, roguish. He's uh, like poor kid. Poor kid. No, oh, no. no good history. So sad. <laughs> so if anyone needs also, that relationship advice, go straight to Gallant. He's got it on lock. That, <laughs> can we talk about? Um, Ruby mom. and Gallant going, yeah, mom suck. Yeah, mom <laughs> suck. I, we, I, we, I really felt that. Mini, mini bonding moment. <laughs> the, the, I think that was the most bonding moment we've had. I think that's the most I'm bonding afraid. moment Ruby's had at all. Anyone? <laughs> okay. Definitely no oh. one else. Yeah, no one else. Is. Honestly, I'm closer to you than anyone else. Me and you. You trust me implicitly. I'm gonna mm-hmm. I like how many times you were desperately trying to get her to talk about the kiss. Bordering oh, no. on no, metagaming. No, no, no. The joke was I'm just talking about the metagaming part is just her glowing on the map. <laughs> that is it. Oh, yeah, no, that's, right. yeah, that's why we were saying that. And yeah. Then... Oh, yeah. We, like, and it plays, it plays no. into that she was kissed. I feel like it was, oh, it was enough. Oh, okay, that kind of makes, makes sense. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't oh. pull that up. I knew what you were going like, for. Thank you. At least Ryan ag- okay. gets my goofs. He gets my goofs. Well, I was confused by it too. I was, I was trying to figure it out for a while until you said something. I would say I have a different dynamic with each like character. Yeah. Each, you, you, each you, me, and you are super close. You and Sue are like an understanding, like work manship, and you don't have one with a lock. And I love that. No, no I I think we had like a little rivalry somehow. Yeah. somehow. Yeah. But you yeah. did. Somehow we have a rivalry. Yeah, I mean, you do? Because I kept making well, jokes about like the healing thing. Oh and, yeah. You know how she's mad about That's that. True. That's true. I forget yeah. about that. Honestly, now she keeps comparing herself to me. Ne- like making fun, like negging her on, is I thought just a general thing. So it I was never... mostly out of character, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, uh, but it's are funny. Are we forgetting but... about the blackmail arc? Oh, that did happen. She did try to blackmail me. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They yeah. were, like, blackmailing each other. Yeah. It's rather it's antagonistic. Like... It was pretty one-way blackmailing until she did it, and then I had to fuck her back. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's all justified, though. Like, the sending her down the wrong path with Suzanne thing. <laughs> okay, he you didn't know. know. No. Ignorance is not... Wait, yeah, how can you say that? You... We we went through the whole blackmail thing before you knew that I was wrong. Yeah, I just I <laughs> so, I just know these things. Priscilla okay. just tells me these things. Oh, your like, God talks to you. Like, uh, Unlike oh, someone else's. So it. <laughs> so, like. I love this roasting a log for this very like traumatic thing where he lost <laughs> touch with his <Yeah>. God. <laughs> You're just like, ah, you suck. <laughs> uh, someone you just died. Talk just talk to him. Just do it. Fucking nerd. Idiot. What, you think you're not a oh, god? Not that hard. How about you just, just talk cast... to god? God. Just cast sending on your god, you idiot. Uh. <laughs> Never thought of it. Man, our therapist is great. Good. You know what, Ruby? You're doing a dang up job. Thanks. I might, yeah, maybe I'll try to think of what, I, what like, encounters I want to have with, like, some of the NPCs. I'm like, maybe I'll pretend to do, like, a... Yeah, feel my free. Favorite, rap- my favorite's gonna be the Suzanne one. So, 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 how do you feel about me? Yeah, canonically, in those two days that passed, do you feel like you and Su- like you were, like, you guys are avoiding each other? I think she's definitely, like, kind of uh freaked out at the prospect of like anything serious uh i think she definitely has her own interest but like do you think you would be trying to talk to her or do you feel like because we didn't because i i you know put it out there like if you want to run a scene like we can run a scene yeah i wanted to give her space for like what simon said but i do have some things that i want to leave in her room okay okay by the way doesn't she share a room with nika yes Yes, I will have to. Nico talk is to the Nico. biggest, the biggest Sugi shipper of all. So, Imagine but he would be an enabler. A hundred percent. He definitely. He He'll definitely be like, would be. I had almost forgotten. I had to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I left my loot in the bathroom! Uh, and just immediately runs away from <laughs> the idiot's face. I was probably gonna sneak it in there. What is this job on the ship? Nika? Yeah. Nika is seamstress. Yeah. Um, he, he leads the shanties. He has a very uh, beautiful singing voice. Oh, that's good. Mm. Imagine Ruby's like setting up for uh, their procession. Suzanne walks in and goes, All right, I've been having relationship problems. <laughs> yeah, she's like, So the person like I'm really into, like that thing where you're like, So that... like, I'm really into this person, but like the person that's talking to is the person. That is an like, alpha thing. That is such an alpha move. That is such like, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I would, I would respect that so much. Yeah, I, I was... like. Yeah. I would definitely use Zone of Truth for all the therapy sessions. Ooh, ooh that's good. <laughs> oh, that's, that's fucked up. That's not fucked up. Unless they tell them ahead of time, like, hey. Yeah, I would tell them. And I'd be like, you could withhold your answer, but you can't lie to me. To be fair, them. therapy's useless if you're lying, so. Exactly, yeah. see? Be honest. Only interest. Yeah. But what yeah, if yeah so gonna... force them. <clears throat> Uh, before all this happened, I was building up Suzanne to be, like, an antagonistic force on the ship of being, like, that one crew member who, like, isn't on board with, like, the new, like, authority. Aww. And then, and then Gallant was like, hey, come on this mission with us, like, in a show of trust. Yeah. And she got rocked yeah. immediately in combat and had to be rezzed, and I'm like, uh, she wouldn't be that pissed off after this, and so she just became like, I am now doubtful of my, uh, uh, one of the things. How do you get people to like you is hazing. Nice, Tylen. Yeah. See, I out. thought you were gonna keep trying to go with that antagonistic thing, so I, I, I like, kept thinking of her that way, but I was like, she's not acting that way anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so it was yeah. really hard to get out of that mindset, because I just knew that's what it was meant to be. Yeah. Is she, is she evil or so soon dare? I don't know. Second one. Probably. We'll never know. Shaz is probably evil. Is anyone? Uh, Shaz is super fucking evil. Shaz and Lula, that's mm -hmm. the evil room. That's just like two yeah. people who are like plotting the downfall. <laughs> I want to have Lula be an antagonist. That's what I want to do. Um, the experiment Lula, actually, like, no. Lula made the ship and is actually the one that put the curse on and all that. <laughs> yeah, she's like, hi, I'm Terminus. I'm the oh, boat shit. man. She could like... Ooh. Terminus she and could, Red Wraith in the could, same like, room. Pull little pranks. Like, she could make, like, Alof lactose intolerant, and then she could, no. like... That's so petty. No, that's <laughs> horrible. What? My like, milk! Could, like, what am I gonna drink? You guys don't even know what kind of creature she is. That's kind of crazy to me, actually. That's true. It. We don't. Because I know, don't know she anything is. about this Yeah, person. she's a human. She's just... Uh, she's actually just I mean, a zombie. Our our Maybe she's a vampire. Know, but, we wouldn't, but we don't know, right? Because our characters would have interacted with her. Never. Probably. Never. That's know, that's maybe. a very <laughs> I don't know, that's bold. It's a bold assumption. We're on the same yeah. we're on the same ship. Yeah, well A-Lock definitely hasn't. It's gonna be really, it's gonna be really sad when we find out that Aramis actually just left them chained in there and just no one has checked in this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like like oh Whew. Hmm. That's that is rough. I'm sorry guys. And you spawned back in here? Oh, that's just fun. They die and come back chained up still every time. Oh That's god. Awful. That is fucked what, up. What did you guys even do? Um, very cool idea with the shatter stones, by the way. That was cool. That was a cool result of resolution to that encounter. Yeah, I'm sorry about not taking everyone for the planning process. I sort of wanted it to be a quick thing, like because I didn't want them to catch on. But it seems like that maiden was pretty stupid. We could have, we could have all probably just. Oh, I, th I thought we were invited. I, I just wasn't here for it at all, so I didn't know. No, you were not. Uh, yeah, I think that um, whatever a what? scourge is, that seems to be more the threat that she was implying than the actual. Nah, maiden. nah, right. I refuse to believe that. It's just it's the definitely one maiden. programmed to defend itself, but um. It had legendary uh, actions. That's that's uh, pretty yeah. good. That's pretty good programming. <laughs> Even Tinker don't got that. I don't know. 2d10 damage potentially like hitting that seven times in a round that's a lot of damage nah. uh, the the legendary action attacks were like weaker no oh. yeah mm. uh, the one that went for sumo was weaker um My baby. Uh, oh, oh it's a kitty 
He's just sleeping the there. I'm worried about the cup. The cup is too close to the edge. What if it hits the cat? You're gonna have to move the cup. <laughs> Don't be so embarrassing. I don't move it. Thank there you. you. Go. I just saved oh, Garfield's please. life. Can't wait for next session already. I hate waiting. <laughs> yeah, waiting Aww. sucks. It feels I, I felt like a short session. Yeah, this definitely did. Uh, uh, we ended like before eleven thirty. Um, we're just doing the post talk a bit longer than we usually do. I think. I mean, we went half an hour over normal time. Uh, Actually, half an hour over is normal time at this yeah. point. <laughs> at this point, it didn't used to be that way. Then I think we all got super invested. Um, I blame this on someone. One time, a couple of times, I ended early. I don't know if you guys remember those times. Yeah. But... What was One wrong time with you? I, I... Hey. Don't, don't think... act like you're, 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 you kept trying to end early, but <laughs> Tyler and I always push you. <laughs> like, hold on. Wait on. That's true. I, I have tried. I have like, tried. Hmm. There we was one. End. Let me see which one it was. I ended early because I ran out of prep. Could be responsible. I, mean, I think there else. was one where we like, ran like, like it was 15 sorry. minutes earlier. It's the one where you guys talked your way out of the encounter. Oh yeah. Oh. oh that makes sense. I was like, I that don't know sense. what to do now, so I'm just gonna end the session. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about a lot of stuff. Don't feel bad about that, cause that's the thing. As a I'm, DM, I am happy that you allowed that, cause I like to use my persuasion. I'm happy. Yeah, plus nine is no fucking joke. I think it might have been less than that. Might have oh been. yeah, no, I didn't have expertise at that point. Oh, you took Probably the like speed five. level yeah. four. Yeah. Did you take? I, th I think. I took the skill expert thing. I think what it was, was the, the portent that helped. Yeah, the yeah portent. and the portent used by uh, Suma, your boy. Um. Uh, so exciting! I'm like hyped. I, I, I probably should go. Time? My my headache never went away, so I'm oh, gonna go sorry. Uh, you killed it though. Yeah. Good job. Oh, explaining man. It was, you hit everyone. that you hit that arrow. I it was hard to think. My brain was just on fire <laughs> the whole time I was talking. So I was trying, to, I was trying to think of words. You were so in character. So in character. Your yeah, he had he actually had a headache too, though. so yeah. he probably did, honestly, in character. Yeah. Honestly, that right. that was just extremely weird. Good job. All right, GG's everyone. See you, Ryan. See you, everyone. See you guys. Bye.